Welcome. Welcome. Good evening. So tonight we are jumping into Hero U, Rogue to Redemption. Indeed. Created by the people who made the original series, uh, Sierra, um, Heroes Quest slash Quest for Glory series. Uh, should be full of puns and uh, some puzzles and uh, just be a good time all around, hopefully. All that good stuff that we lack so much. So let's jump into it. I'm about to sneeze, hold on. Hey, it's you, Solar. <laughs> it's Trans Solar Games. Solar's trans, too, so. <laughs> Your face. <laughs> Settings, huh? I didn't see any settings, but this is a beast system. There's absolutely no reason for it to be running slowly. It seemed like it was struggling. Oh, well, that's better. No, not really. Okay. It's time! Uh. uh. Um, is there I think a we menu? Just missed something. Yeah. It's... I think we also just missed a, a cutscene or something. Yeah. Um, Do we need to like? Here we go. Settings. No. Oh, no, that's wait, the problem. No. What okay. the fuck? Okay. Quick game. Let's yeah. restart that. We're, we're gonna we're gonna restart. Okay. So that doesn't seem normal. <clears throat> Rogue to redemption. Thanks for asking, Solar. It's been a long day. How about you? How are you doing? Oh, apparently it's a G-Sync issue. Oh. Which and turn that off. Your G Sync? Yeah. Oh, because we had that problem with another game that we were playing where it didn't like the G Sync. I can't remember which one it was. That's good! I'm glad to hear it! I have to remember to turn that back. Do you want me to make a note? Uh, it'll, it'll be hard for me to forget. Okay. I just figured it out for. <laughs> Thanks. Since I made a note about the slobs set up too. <laughs> but you already took care of that, so. Alright! Alright, we're getting 60, that's. Better! Yeah. And we have the V-Sync turned off too, so that should help, right? Yeah, it's trying to get my daughter to love me. <laughs> okay. No, slob isn't. Is it. Should we put the game capture back on? Instead of the right monitor thing? Here. 
scare you. Try it that way. Maybe? Could have been sick. Always love when we switch to a new game. Oh! Ha! 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 Oh! We need to adjust the... Yeah, we do. Size. Size. There we are. Oh, come on. Can't you just grab the little corners? What the balls is going on with this? It's probably from when we uh, resized it for um, space quiz. There we are. That's better. Oops. Can I grab the? Webcam. There we are. Up here seems good for right now. Yay! As we completely resize everything right before your eyes. Alright, sorry about that. Okay, now you can see everything and it's working and okay. yes. Alright, let's try this again. Yay! It's not horrible frames per second now. Ooh. Hero, you. Do you like the sound effects or the vocal effect? A lot of booming importance. Welcome to the world of yesterday. Welcome to the world of previously. <laughs> At least it's running better. Yeah. 61 FPS right now. Welcome to the world of ore and yawn! Is that better? It's time. It's time for what? I don't know. It's just, it's time. What the? Did I just get scared? Uh, I guess so. Either that or you're just really bad at standing. I, I don't. Is it driving for you? I, I think. I'm not sure. Oh, yes, it seems to be. Okay. There is a shadowy figure. What the? F what the fuck is going on here? Shenanigans. <clears throat> the chief thief took, told me to look for a small silver coin in the study. So, desk, bookshelf, comfy couch. This looks like a study to me. Now, where do you suppose that coin is hiding? Let me see. Where should I look to find the lucky coin? This cabinet looks like a lucky location. It's got a maker's mark carved on the back. It was made locally by the Proctor Company. It's the cabinet of Proctor Caligari. Uh, cabinet of Dr. Caligari. Caligari. It's a it's an old, like, horror film. Oh. Okay, nothing in drawer number one but buttons and clasps. Drawer number two is full of spools of thread and yarn. This drawer has ribbons and trim. No lucky coin hidden here. I'm down to the last drawer. Will I get lucky? No, nothing here but scraps of cloth. This is just a sewing cabinet. Darn it. Nah. I guess my luck is just so-so. Nice. Da puns do. Nothing under there, not even dust. Moving furniture around, especially on a bare floor, would probably make more noise than I'm comfortable with. I'm just going to have to trust that there are no interesting little hidden doors in the floor underneath the cabinet or in its underside. Okay, I guess we're done with that. 
Look at the globe. Wow, I never realized Sardonia was so small an island. There's a lot of world to see. When I'm a famous thief, I'll leave this place. Maybe I'll visit, get to visit still in my area. If you're a famous thief, you'll probably visit a jail. <laughs> Other than that, no secret compartments or hidden objects that I can find. I'm severely disappointed. <laughs> Guess I'll have to look elsewhere for the lucky coin. Well, like, maybe it'll be like, you know, like the Dread Pilot Roberts, well, where no one knows who he really is, he's just talked about, and everybody knows his name, that sort of thing. Because all the little people would go flying off. <laughs> <laughs> I could never keep a desk this tidy. The lamp is a bit dim, but I can feel a switch on the side. Might be an interesting read, but for now I'm in the dark about it. Yeah. Maybe we should turn the desk lamp oh, on. <laughs> nice, that really makes things brighter around here. It will be much easier to find the coin now. And now we can try the book. It's the essential little black book of chartered accountancy. Sounds intriguing. I'm glad. I'm so glad I'll never be an accountant. That stuff is dangerous. It could bore you to death. <laughs> but don't. Shh. Great, a complete set of CPA for illiterates. Wait, what? <laughs> Guess they must be family pictures. Just two old women holding cats. They all look rather disgruntled and displeased. It's a cantankerous concatenation of catty couples. <laughs> wow. Wow. I love this game already. Wow. That just hurt. This drawer is locked, but I can open one of the side drawers. Well, then do it. Just a bunch of old papers, a dull pen, a silver letter opener, and some dried ink. Hey, take that letter opener if you right. can. We might be able to pick the lock. Guess the owner doesn't write many letters these days. I do not need those stinking papers. <laughs> That's just a broken quill pen. It's not much use for anything. Besides, feathers make me sneeze. That ink is drier than my wit. It's useless. <laughs> yes, the cat puns, though. Hmm, silver. Maybe I can pun it for a lira or two. Worth a try. Can he pick a lock? A real thief would be able to get that locked drawer open with nothing but this letter opener. I, are you saying you're not a real thief? Guess I'm not a real thief yet. This is hopeless! Will I answer that question? Great. The coin might be in that locked drawer. When I join the Thieves Guild, maybe they'll give me a set of lock picks. Picking locks can't be that hard to learn, can it? I mean, depends on the lock. Took me a couple days. It's your garden variety wastebasket. If you happen to have a garden with a wastebasket <laughs> in it. Wait. I feel like that's a line straight out of Space Quest. Drat, the wastebasket is full of nothing but trash. What a surprise. Like, I'm pretty sure they use that exact... Mm. I guess that finding the lucky coin in here would have been too easy. It was worth a try. It is better to have dreamed and lost than to never have dreamed at all. And one man's trash is another man's Persian or something like that. <laughs> There's a kitty! And there's cat pictures on the walls. As it should be. In a cup. I can't confirm or deny if this is a palm or a pineapple, but I'm not frond of it. <laughs> it's a painted clay pot filled with dirt, but I don't feel any treasure buried in it. Now that would be some filthy lucre. <laughs> Man, that is a heavy plant. It won't budge. I guess that means it isn't in my budget. Mm. I shall hug you and squeeze you and call you George? <laughs> yes. Mm, I don't know. George, Chuck, Audrey. How about Vera? Then if I ever come back, I can say, Hello, Vera. <laughs> wow. This is the best game ever. <laughs> <laughs> this is like a non-stop -pu pun train. The plaque under the painting says, 
Irana's Meadow. Oh, this is from the original Heroes Quest. Is it? Yeah. It's really pretty. I don't know who Irana was, but she had a beautiful meadow. Darius probably had to sell the painting because he was baroque. <laughs> I wonder if he if it's just supposed to be a simple landscape or if it's a meadow for a metaphor. There's nothing behind it except a lot of talent and hard work. <laughs> Pity no one hid the lucky coin here. It's bigger than I am. It'd be like carrying around the sign that says, Hey everyone thief here. And you wanted to be famous. Look at the painting. Oh, it's a sweet picture if he likes cats and their kin. Personally, I would never take on the responsibility of a cat. I don't like dependent claws. <laughs> <sighs> Oddly enough, I did, once did try stealing a painting of a panther, but I was a young, immature thief back then. I hadn't even buckled my belt right. So I'm carrying around this big painting. The next thing I knew, my panther falling down. Oh, God. <laughs> Nothing here. Why why doesn't anyone want my saves under paintings like in the stories? Maybe we just haven't checked around the right painting. Oh, it's pretty adorable. Holy crap. Yeah. If you can overlook all the cat hair you'd get in your cup of tea. My mother would probably like this painting, but not how I got it. I better leave it. There's nothing behind the painting of a fluffy, fluffy kitten or on the back of it. No lucky coin here. I didn't really think that there would be, but a budding thief can dream, can't he? <laughs> uh, you okay? My eyes are watering a little bit. Do you need a Kleenex? The fire is already burning nicely. I'm good at the moment, thank you, though. I'll make too much noise, too much noise if I... Yeah. <laughs> Excuse me. These are good tools for working on fire or as weapons, but not at all useful for a future master thief. All right. There's something strange about- oh wait, it's just a moose dash someone painted on that animal <laughs> head. Because it's a moose. Keep a stiff upper lip, moose. Let's see if I can move that moose head. Maybe there's something behind it. Nope, it's just an a moosing mammal mounted above the mantle. Oh my gosh. This is a nice warm fire. I don't see anything odd about the fireplace, but... The patterns on the mantle are three leaf clovers, just like the coin I'm looking for. Coincidence? Maybe. There's a slightly loose stone on the mantle. I bet it's concealing something. Can I put out the fire? Oh sure, I should let everyone know that someone's been here. Besides, I need the light. Okay, so can we do the thing with the stone? Can we do the thing in the stone with it without putting out the fire, maybe? Uh, mantle, there we go. Shamrock design reminds me of the description of the lucky coin. I'll take my time examining it. Aha, one of the shamrock panels seems loose. We know this already. Okay, can I examine the loose panel? Hmm, it looks like the end panel with the shamrock design was designed as a separate piece. It's not quite attached to the fireplace. Of course, it's the old sliding secret panel in the fireplace mantle trick. That's the oldest trick in the book. Okay, move it. There's got to be a catch to the secret panel somewhere. There, it feels like it just slides open. I'll just, got it. Nice, there's a small safe hidden in the fireplace mantle. Oh goody. There's a hidden safe in the fireplace. Must take four keys to open it, or a set of thieves tools. Shame I don't happen to have them. Wait, the, that medallion in the center of the safe looks like the lucky coin. If I can just pry it off, it will be my ticket to the thieves guild. Cool. Acquired lucky coin. Yeah, I got the coin. I am so good. <laughs> now I need to get out of here before someone wakes up and catches me. Close the panel. <laughs> the secret panel is now closed and practically invisible against the fireplace mantle design. They'll never know I found it. We gotta turn the lamp off behind us too. Yeah, I'm just wondering. Let's see. Let's make a save again. Yes. Good plan. Probably useful. 
now. We have other things to explore. Without alerting the whole house, hopefully. It seems to have shops short. Why do they say that? It's still really tall. There are a bunch of gears and chains and a pendulum, but nothing useful. Mmm, the pendulum door is locked in me without any lockpicks. Or the skills to use them. You are a sad sack of a thief, man. Even if I could climb this clock, it doesn't look like it leads anywhere except the ceiling. From the marks on the floor, the piano looks like it's been in this room for years. No, well, that can't be right. We're much too poor to ever ever had a piano. Is my memory playing tricks on me? I think I found the only thing I need at this point. You do what I tell I you. I don't mean to be sheepish, but I should take it on the lamb. Nah. <laughs> Did you tell Richard about this one? Mm. What kind of option is climb the clock? You know, <laughs> who knows? <laughs> What? Oh, I could I could easily steal this piano, but the key question is where would I battle it? Nah. Sort of a bench that has hinges on the top so that you can store things in the seat. Maybe the coin is hidden inside it. Let's see what they've stashed inside the bench. Just a bunch of sheet music, nothing I can use. Here's toot sweet for the cream horn. Yum. I'm not too sure about this cat. He looks like he's plotting world domination, a mass murder, or where to put his next hairball. So, you know, hashtag cat things. <laughs> he probably leaves dead mice on his master's pillow and scratches whenever you try to pet him. No kitten. He's a cat, cat tankerous, ferocious feline ready to mutilate anything. Oh, kick the cat? Why is that an option? Okay, cat, if I pet you, will you stop plotting my demise? Nice kitty, sweet kitty. Do you like your back rubbed, cat? Oh. No. Oh, I guess so. Maybe you aren't a fiend in feline fur after all. Oh. It's a trap. It's always a trap. Maybe you're just a fluffy, furry, friendly feline who just wants his belly rubbed, aren't you? Oh, Don't do it! Don't idiot. rub the belly! <laughs> oh no, you rubbed the belly! Ouch, I got my. I guess my first instinct was right. You are an evil puss. <laughs> <laughs> Don't kick the cat. I slipped. Mr. Bunny Slippers, are you kidding me? Mr. Melba, what is going in there? Are you alright? Hey, who are you? What are you doing in my house? And what did you do to Mr. Melmel? <laughs> you scum! How dare you kick a defenseless little kitty like Mr. Melmel? Gods, help! Cedar! Animal abuse! You got caught. <laughs> Oh, a rat. But he was fool. Sean was clever, brave, and witty, but he was foolish and kicked a kitty. Bad idea, imagine that. To punt a puss or kick a cat. Moral of the story, don't kick cats. Didn't mean to. Moral of life, don't kick cats. <laughs> Alright. You can be friendly to him. You just don't kick him. It's not nice to kick him. People always lose stuff and Oops. change in the cushions. Ooh! Sweet! Yes, there are some loose lira coins. I'm a little less broke now. So far, so good. <laughs> Look at the table. It's just a solid oak table with a crochet doily in the center. They should play chess on this table. Then, when someone moves a knight, they could say, It's a knight of the round table. 
I've already got what I came here for. Poking around some more is just asking for trouble. Which has never bothered me before, but this time the stakes are a little higher. Nah. I make it a point not to dally with doilies. Don't doily dally. <laughs> My superior deductive powers clearly tell me that this footrest was last used by a retired sailor with a peg leg. Oops, I was breaking into Holmes. <sighs> There's no reason for me to look under the footrest at this point, or any reason for me to hang out here. Really, I should quit while I'm ahead. <laughs> that was the best. So, to turn it off again, I guess I use the same switch. Probably a good plan. Aren't you clever? Should we save before we go out the window in case someone's out there? <laughs> I mean, what else are we gonna do? Maybe we have to go a different way through the house to escape? I don't know. Should we go out into the hallway? Maybe we can try. I just I want to make sure that we're not gonna get caught, you know. Let's sit out the door. Between the noise of the fireplace and the cat, I can't hear anything on the other side of this door. But I'll bet someone is out there. I wonder who's behind. What's behind there? Oh no! <laughs> try to bluff. See if you can bluff him. Would you believe I'm the fire inspector and I'm here to inspect your fire? <laughs> A fire inspector at this time of night? I don't believe it. Would you believe that I'm the Sandman and it's way past your bedtime? There's no such thing as a Sandman. The Tooth Fairy? Gods! Help! Robber! Thief! Gods! He just seems like the type of person that would act like that. Sean will cry and Sean will wail. Sean will still go straight to jail. The lesson is that all thieves are taught, whatever you do, just don't get caught. <laughs> okay. Guess we go back out the window. Great. Got the coin. Didn't get caught. I'll be, it'll, it'll be a, I'll be a thieves guild member right before the night's over. Yay me! Made it. Now I've got my golden ticket to joining the Thieves Guild. Actually, you have a one-way ticket to jail, Sean O'Connor. What? Who are you? And how do you know who I am? Never mind who I am. There are two city guards waiting on the street in front of this house to arrest you for burglary. Is that the way you want your life to end in jail? Oh, am I off the screen? Do I need to be snugglier with you? I can do that. Oh, no, I can't click. I can click. Soldier, point. Soldier, point. Soldier, point. I can click. So what's your point? Are you going to have me arrested or are you going to bore me to death with your lecture? I'm here to offer you a chance at a very different future as a student at the Hero University. Say what? You want me to go to school? What's to stop me from just running off? Dude, it's Dumbledore with an eye patch. If you run, the city guards will make a point of tracking him down. They don't like thieves, even petty ones. Besides, if you don't follow me, you'll never find out what this is all about. What do we do? Do we follow the mysterious stranger? Let's run off, because we know it's the wrong answer. Okay. Sean leads the guards on a merry chase to the streets and alleys of Sardonia, but they are very good at their job. <laughs> Sean will cry. Oh, mm -hmm. so yeah, that's the same one we got last time. Oh gosh, we do it a second. We'll just click through this real quick so that we can get back to our other choice. Follow the stranger. If you're gonna put it that way, wise choice. However, before we can leave, do you take anything from the house? It needs to be returned to its rightful owner. Uh, that one. All I took was this silver letter opener because I needed it to pry open a drawer. 
Is that so? Very well then. We will return the letter opener and the matter will be settled. Now let us proceed to Hero University. If you are to find redemption, it will be there. Was there a notification up there? I totally missed it. Lost letter opener. Ah. What else could I do? Walk away and wonder on my life who the stranger was and what he was up to? He refused to answer any of my questions, so I followed him for hours through all the alleys and dark streets of Caligari and out of the city through a side gate I'd never seen before. It was almost dawn when we got to a gatehouse and a twenty-foot tall rock wall. In the dim light, I could see where we were go, we where we've gone, to the creepy old castle that overlooks the city. The stranger must had me sit in a small. The stranger had me sit in a small boring room for a while while he talked to some people. I think I must have nodded off because the next thing I know, this angry bald guy orders me to follow him into his office. You knew it, you are, Connor. A slacker. I don't know why I had to be pulled from my breakfast to deal with the likes of you. You'll be out of here before the month is out, mark my words. I'll try not to disappoint you. That's ten demerits for talking back to me. One hundred demerits and you'll be kicked out of here. You're already on your way. This is the Hero University. We take the best of the best and turn them into upstanding, outstanding people who make a difference in the world around them. The only difference you'll ever make around you is an unnoticeable rise in the crime rate until you get caught and sent to prison for the rest of your life. You're a waste of my time and the resources of this school. Let's see if you have any skill or redeemable quality at all. We'll take this aptitude test. Curfew 10 p.m. Demerits to anyone not in their dorms at this time. Question 1. You are walking down a narrow alleyway towards a dead end when you realize that several brigands are approaching you from behind with a malicious intent. What do you do? Make a run for it and avoid them? Let them come for me and trust to luck? Take them on directly. Look for a way to avoid them. I grab a nearby barrel and toss it at the brigands. As I try to dodge it, I rip a rain pipe off the nearby wall. I then swing the pipe at my assailants, knocking to the, them to the <laughs> ground. They cower and beg me for mercy. You have been traveling along a dusty road for hours when you see a tree loaded with bright, ripened apples. As you start to munch on one of the apples, an old woman hobbles out from behind a hedge and shrieks, How dare you steal my beautiful apples? What do you do? Assume she must be magical. Out with the woman. Sweet talk your way out of it. Send your ground and intimidate her. She's gotta be magic, man. I'm just saying. I use my magical skill to see the woman is a powerful fairy cloaked in an illusion. Is this the character creation? Are we creating our character right now? We might be, but this kind of reminds me of the thing we did with, uh... With, uh, uh, what's his name? Uh, Roger Wilco, when we were doing the aptitude test for him to become the commander. My apologies to you, Great One. Shall I make amends by protecting the tree from other intruders? With her permission, I cast a powerful spell on the tree to hide it from sight and then go off on my way. Of course, this assumes that I know how to cast powerful magical spells after going to this school. A fire rages through the town. You see a group of people standing around and pointing upwards at a nearby building. There, through the window, you see a small child screaming for help. What do you do? Climb up the wall and rescue the child. Brave the fire and run into the building. Talk the crowd into helping. Improvise a safety net to rescue the child without getting singed. I swing my rope and grapnel up to the ca to catch the window frame. Then I shimmy up the rope, grab the child, and rappel down before the building collapses. I have rescued the child and am declared to be the hero of the town. <laughs> but you left the cat. Question 4. You have been falsely arrested and, and imprisoned in the dungeon of a cruel king. You are doomed to be executed in the morning unless you escape. What do you do? Talk to the guards into taking your side and helping you escape? Gamble with the guards and bribe your way out? Break open the cell door and fight your way out? Or wait for an opening and escape at the last minute? 
I asked my jailers to join me in a game of cards. While I am winning all their money, I carefully take the key ring from the jailer's belt. After I win a big pot then, and they go away angry, I use the key to unlock the cell. I then use the money to bribe a servant to see me out of the castle. Hmph. You have some magical talent. What a waste. This is suspected. You aren't skilled enough to be a warrior. You aren't smart and magical enough to be a wizard. You aren't good enough to be a paladin. No discernible music or acting talent. There's only one class we can put you in. You're gonna be a rogue. Mm. Slytherin. Master von Urwald, you have a new reprobate from the gutters of Caligari City, Sean O'Connor. Let me know as soon as he breaks the rules so we can send him back to where he belongs. Very well. Welcome to our class, Air O'Connor. Take a seat. I warn you, Connor. Break one rule when you're out of here. I warn you, Potter. <laughs> I'm certain that Air O'Connor will do what he can to avoid facing your wrath. He's not to be trusted. I am equally certain that you have better places to be than here, Mortimer. Guten Tag. I should work on my German accent. He's clearly German. Let's see. I have to think about this. And now we're. Uh, I have to think about it a little more. Reinhardt. I mean, I know what he sounds like, it's just the accent's fun funky. Well, not funky, but it's difficult. In honor of our new arrival, we shall have a review. Night! Later Thank you for so. joining us! In honor of our new arrival, we shall have to have a review of the rules of Rogue Class. Ersosi, what is the first rule of Rogue Class? There's no Rogue Class, sir. <laughs> Precisely. This is a university for heroes. There are no rogues in this school. Fraulein McMichael, what is the second rule of rogue ca class? We don't talk of rogue class. Indeed. This is officially the class of disbarred bards. Keep that in mind when speaking with others outside this classroom. Her Her Cairo, what is the third rule? Disbarred bards. I love it. We will always show respect to the master, master. Good rules to remember indeed. If you wish to remain in the school, always show respect to someone who has power over you when you are in their presence. Fräulein Esme. There we go, Esme. What is the fourth ru uh, rule of row class? It, it, it is one that says we, we aren't supposed to steal from school or other classmates, no? You are essentially correct, Fraulein. This is not the Thieves' Guild. This is not some brigands den. You will all treat one another with respect and cooperation. Erkent, what is the fifth rule of rogue class? We're at this school to be heroes, and we are expected to act appropriately, sir. Precisely. Keep your goal of becoming a hero in mind and always work toward accomplishing it. Now... Errol Connor, what do you think the sixth rule of rogue, rogue class might be? The previous five are all bullshit. Say something serious to please Master von Orvold. Say something humorous to amuse the other students. Say something snarky just for fun. Hmm. Well, it's all about the master, master. So. <laughs> um, always follow the school rules. We are rogues here, not paladins, Arrow Connor. I expect my students to act appropriately. <laughs> appropriately, huh? The rules are for the rules for rogues are posted in this classroom. They will help you to maintain your status as a disbarred bard at this school. I expect you to all commit them to memory. Tomorrow we will begin discussing tools that of the trade of for rogues. Just... He does. I suggest you all study the beginner's guide to picking locks and purchase a lockpick kit at the school store. The rest of the afternoon is reserved for you to enhance your skills in the nearby practice room or study your lessons in the library. Klassen into Lassen. Uh. 
Darn, they keep the door locked outside of class hours. It's not as though Gerhard keeps anything valuable in there. That's clearly Sister Dominique Decker, the nun who was forbidden by her order from signing- Oh, from singing publicly. So she disguised herself as a bard and traveled the world. She became the greatest contralto bard in history. Bard nun. <laughs> The only loot here is the one the bard is playing. But that loot is spelled differently. <laughs> the way these candles gutter make the place look so gothic. Wait, are we in gothic right now? We don't need any demerits for damaging school property. Cairo. Welcome to the Justin Bard Bard's class, Mr. O'Connor. Not quite sh what you were expecting in a university devoted to heroism, is it? Allow me to introduce myself. I'm Joel Cairo. I'm an entrepreneur of sorts. I uh, buy, sell, and buy and sell trinkets that might be of interest to you. Hmm. Lockpicks. We have five. <sighs> Dang it. Dang it. <laughs> We need more money so we can buy lockpicks. Mm -hmm. What do you mean when you say, say you saw trinkets? Are you talking about painted seashells with mermaids and souvenirs of Sardonia on them? No, of course not. <laughs> I would not carry such tawdry things. I assure you my goods are of the highest quality and would be of interest to the most discerning of rogues or our less reputable brethren. Thieves. Earn some money. That is our next quest, apparently. Well, I guess I'll be seeing you around here. I look forward to speaking with you again. Because that popped up on our thing up there. So. Yeah, did it. Yeah. Do we have like a little quest log thing somewhere? Journal. Probably. Oh! Agility, 17. Charm, 10. We have very little charisma. Uh, fitness. I'm pretty fit. Luck. Eh. Moxie. We've got a lot of chutzpah. Perception. We're not very perceptive. We're not very smart. And we've got a little bit of magic, but not a whole lot. Turk hates you. Mm -hmm. <laughs> This is a coin I pried out of that mantle. I would say it's been lucky en for enough for me so far. It's solid enough metal. I almost broke a tooth. Lucky I didn't. See how lucky this coin is? <laughs> That's just silly. Okay. Just when I thought I had a real chance to impress the chief thief and join the thieves guild, I get caught. Not only did I get caught, but I get sent to school. Not only did I get sent to school, but I have to deal with jerks like Mr. Dirk. I'll lose my chance to become a thief if I don't find a way out of this castle soon. I still got the lucky coin. Now I only need to find some way to show it to the chief thief. Well, not reading all that. <laughs> it's a lot of text, but... Now we know what we missed. Tasks. Earn some money. I'm supposed to buy this equipment for class, but I don't have any money. There must be someone in the castle willing to pay for extra help. Okay, so we gotta find somebody who's willing to pay us to do something. Oh, we got an achievement! For basically just doing the game. <laughs> mm -hmm. But hey, that's something. The plaque says Weston Blyer B Squad Leader turns out turn on. turn on, sorry, turn ons include the color red. What in the world is a turn on? Mm -hmm. No secret compartments or passages behind the painting here. Is 
It's very realistic. It almost looks exactly like the suits of armor around here, but it's carved. I don't know who he was, but I thank him for his service. We don't want to search this statue. Mm, apparently right click on things to nice. look at them. Yeah, it's just marble and paint covered in a fine layer of dust and cobwebs. <laughs> you know, in the pre in our lovely previous game with Roger Wilco it would have been like, and you resist the urge to dust. <laughs> Battered old wooden shield with rusty old weapons attached to it. I think that the rust is the only thing holding it together. And the only thing hidden on this thing is the metal under layers of rust. Plaque reads, Portrait of Lingle Greatstorm in a gr yellow cloak. But I think it's more of a dusty sandalwood color. Dusky. Lincoln Greatstorm wrote this haiku about himself. Wow, that's a nice beard. <laughs> that's a good haiku. Apparently he has been studying poetry at the Vogon <laughs> Academy. Hey! That's a fourth wall breaker if I ever heard one. I guess not all paintings are... Are secret compartments? Yeah. Locked door. It says locks on it. Seems appropriate to me. What do you know? The door to the lock room is locked. Great. I guess I'll need to find some lock picks to get in here. Maybe that's like one of her tests to get into the lock room. He's a perfect choice to stand guard over the end of the hall. That's Sir Albert Hall, known in his younger days as Albert the Hallbeard. Hallbird. Nothing hiding in the helmet or any place else. I don't know where that suit of armor has been. Besides, it wouldn't fit my useful figure. Okay, we need to move us. Move us. Yeah, us. We're blocking part of the panel when it comes up. Uh, opposite side of the screen would probably be okay. Whoops. Damn it. There you go. There we are. Excellent. This door is locked. Not very trusting, is he? The little plaque says, Silvran Gentleman Rogue. He looks more like a highwayman. Search the painting? No hidden safe switch over here. Okay, fine. I thought maybe it would give us more fun facts or something about him. These stairs seem endless. Whoa, what a picture. Family portrait. The plaque says this is the Dolan family. Must be a Highland thing. Maybe they had the family jewels behind the painting. Oh. Nope, nothing. This might be a widow's blood plant. I'll keep my distance from it just to be on the safe side. Well, that took me t no time at all. She's clean. Oh, do we need to save? When was the last time we saved? We should save. Okay. It's got big, beautiful blooms and it smells great. I suspect there's a lot more magic at use around here than I'm aware of. Yeah. It's clean as a whistle. Somebody spends a lot of time on the floor here. Oh, the, the information doesn't update. What do you mean the information doesn't update? So the saves, it tell, it, from the first save, it no. says like the time gotcha. and place. Well, we're not at the school, and right. it still says the, the time and the place of the original. Gotcha. Eolus's room. Door seems solidly shut and locked, but I don't see a keyhole. 
Name plate by the door says Aeolus. Sort odd sort of name. Portrait. It's a painting of a dog with an oddly industrial look. Steampunk dog! It says it's a portrait of Mopey the Magnificent. He's clearly a mechanized mutt and a steampunked puppy. For a second I thought that was it was gonna say self-portrait of the dog. <laughs> I was like, wow. <laughs> Judging the door better not knock. Sosie might answer. Sosie. Don't know. The Sosie path. <laughs> Have we not met Sosie? I don't remember Sosie. But I literally don't know all their names yet. The name, the name place says this is Thomas's room. The door's sealed tight and there doesn't seem to be a keyhole. Under the name Alexian. The plaque also says the man with no name. <laughs> It then says Alexian was a handsome Silmarian mortal who was given the gift of immortality. He now wanders, he now forever wanders the land, bringing justice to all. Whoever he is, I wouldn't want to mess with him. He looks cold blooded. I don't get it. Pretty sure that's the developers. Oh, Alex Ian. It's Alex and Ian. I think. No, I think it's Cory and something else. But... The... Lori. Nicole's cold-blooded. Cory and Cory. Yeah. What was the Alex Ian thing? What is that reference to? I have no idea. Nameplate by the door says this is Katie and Esme's room. I can't find a keyhole yet. Katie and Esme's door is shut tight. I have no idea how these doors work. Locks from the inside, maybe? Magic? Password? That might be a widow's blood plant. The black says Saj Nav a fraud. True friend stab you in the front. Guess if I ever came across him, I'd have to unfriend him. Do you want me to pull it up? Here? No. I was just trying to see if his name was like a scramble of something no. else. You gonna go into the ladies' room? Sure. I'm trying, but my sense of self preservation keeps getting in the way. <laughs> well, that and the fact that the door seems sealed shut. What about the this door? You didn't check that one. Oh, the bath, the guy's bathroom. Hey, that's me. Wait, I, I can operate that door. That was refreshing. <laughs> there, I feel like a new man. Hey, we became more charismatic. Because we're less stinky. <laughs> TMI, I won't be a potty to that. Yeah. Okay. Where's our room? Came in from there, right? Yep. That's where the classrooms are. To the Great Hall! Ooh, there's another painting. Portrait of a kingly man. He looks familiar. Wasn't the king of- wasn't he the king of Silmaria or something? <laughs> no. That's one place he didn't keep his treasure. You there, Gunner. What are you doing wandering around the halls? You should be in class. I really want to 
want to say something smart. I know, because that is your natural inclination. Class is, oh, class is over for the day, sir. I'm exploring the school right now so that I learn my way around. After all, I wouldn't want to be late for anything. Hmm. The class is out already. Do you most likely expect to study your lessons in the afternoon rather than delay dallying around school? Because you're new here all over, look, you're slacking off for today. The dining room is further down this hall and will open, be open at 6 for supper. <sighs> are you- so are you the guy in charge of this school? While the headmaster may have founded the school, I am the person in charge of making certain that all students follow the rules and properly respect authority. If I were in charge of the school, there would be no disbarred bards class, nor would the likes of you be allowed in the school. So, he is Snape. Yep. <sighs> oh, he's more of a dickish version of Snape. He's the book Snape. Tell me, sir, what can I do better to fit in around here? I like to make a good impression. Oof. If you want to try to make something of yourself, get yourself a school uniform from the store and wear it during school hours. At least that way, you won't look like a ragamuffin tramp. Mm, uniform is probably easy enough to get. That's clearly a fine suggestion. I'll buy one as soon as I can. See that you do. Expect you to be wearing it the next time I see you during school hours. I'm told that I need to buy something from the school store. A likely excuse. The store is downstairs from here. Go to the end of the corridor, turn right, and through the door. Shopkeeper is another example of how ill-managed this university is. Why that old overgrown rodent is tolerated here, I have no idea. Okay, so the guy we talked to is the... He's the store. Yeah. What's the point of this school? This university gives students the proper tools and education to do heroic things and make the world a better place. What heroism has to do with you, I do not know. The headmaster is in, gra in grave error if he believes that you or your classmates will become anything other than criminals. I'll well, see you later, sir. I want to see you as little as possible, Kara. Stay out of trouble and away from me. Curfew is at 10 p.m. If I catch you wandering around the halls after that, you will receive demerits. We shall see how quickly you can earn a hundred demerits so that I can say farewell to you for good. Yeah, this guy's the worst. He's the... Get a hobby. It looks like a dashing fine paladin upon a fine horse. The plaque. A dashing fine horse. A dashing fine horse. The plaque says that this is Sir Justin Hess upon his horse. Nothing behind the painting but dust. It's the Hero You banner, or maybe a memento of winning the Sil Silmarian League pennant. Probably produced by the BBC. Bruce Banner and Company. Nice, nice. The level of like. If Mr. Turk came the other way while I was stealing this, he'd have a field day. He'd probably give me demerits for trying to pass with flying colors. <laughs> Plaque says, dedicated to the hero and all of us. Yeah, it looks like me. I was gonna say, yeah, he's got the same hair and everything. Guess the question is, do I really want to be a hero? To steal the statue. I can't even push the statue, let alone pick it up and put it in my pocket. Clearly, you need to talk to King Graham about that. Big D's House Hall of Heroes. <laughs> That big D, though. 
There's something about being near the statue that makes me feel happy and calm. The base of the statue says, Arana. She shared joy with the world and made it a safer place for all of us. She looks like a druid or a cleric. I'm not sure which. <laughs> Plex says, Sadok Gora, stalwart defender. That guy's a barbarian. Oh, there's more to it. From abandonment came fear. From fear came violence. Violence turned to persecution. Now persecution bore violence. Violence began at fear, and fear became a hollow solitude. <laughs> Here, university bestowed hope. Here, you sure has a lot of success stories. And again, the failures probably don't get their portraits painted. <laughs> oh. Solid rock, like Sadok's body. Perception increased. Yep. Probably would help as a rogue to have fairly high perception. I mean, a disbarred bard. Mm -hmm. It's a Silmarian Sumer urn. There's nothing in it. On it or under it. Ooh, there's a thing on the wall over here. Of the dinner menu. This is the dining hall. What's for dinner? Let's see! Gruel. It's Hispaniola cuisine today. We'll have gazpacho, flamequin, and flan. Okay. That sounds like a pretty solid meal. <laughs> mm. Portrait of John Howell, a brave mage. Note bear added posthumously. Exeunt, followed by bear. It's a chained bear. Yes, I see that. Don't be silly, there's no bears around these parts. Unless he conjured it without realizing it because his back was turned. It all fits into place! Well, at least it looks like he was having fun right up until the end there. Wait, there's another store? Yeah. They were serious about making any money. They wouldn't put the school store way back in this lonely corner. They'd make you walk through it to get to the dining <laughs> hall. Oh, this is gonna... That's the dinner bell. It's about time to go to the dining hall. No, he's actually a rodent. Greetings, young master. To the university store, Gregor welcomes you. I am Gregor. Gregor is my name. How may Gregor serve the young master? Oh, he's a friendly rat. Should I go to dinner? See what his lockpicks cost. Ten. His his cost five less. Fifteen, twenty, so it's We're gonna need some more. Fifty-five so sixty-five and then eighty. We need eighty lira to get all the uniform parts and the lockpick set. And, and this book is another so oh, that's 90. ninety-two. Can't sell my coin either. My shiny silver coin. <laughs> One shiny lucky coin. Okay, well then now we know we need to make some money, but first we need to get food. What time is it? Like in real life? Or? No, on the oh, well, five oh nine. Okay. Let's go get dinner. Yes, the clock is handy. Open the door. That's a pretty solid dining hall. So with fronds like these, who needs anemones? <laughs> what does that mean? It's a joke. Get it? Friends like these, you know? No, who is D? Never mind. I guess you had to be D. there. This is a dining hall. If you're finished with your meal, take your dishes to the kitchen and leave. Mm. Condor, I want to speak with you. Clear your place and come to me. So, Connor, in trouble already on your first day? Maybe you'll set the record for quickest expulsion from the university. You will be rooming with airless, a barred student. Oops. Your room is on the first floor in the bar dorm hallway next to the stairs. If you was at 10 each night, if I catch you wandering the halls afterwards, you'll receive demerits. Any questions? Only if you catch me, right? 
I understand you only too well, sir. I will do whatever I can to avoid you or avoid annoying you. Hmm. She that you do. You are dismissed. You will be wise to go to your dorm room and study for your class. You undoubtedly have a lot to learn in order to catch up with the rest of the that group of losers you call classmates. Okay, but this we we gotta make more money. <laughs> We can't study with nothing to study. Yeah, we took two hours for dinner. I mean, it's probably like fancy. You get served properly. <laughs> it's an armadillo in a penguin suit with a moo sign? There's a lot going on there. The plaque reads, Professor Grand McDealy, before <laughs> the unfortunate accident, appears to be an armadillo in a penguin suit holding up a sign that says moo. They let anybody have tenure these days. I'm sure there's a perfectly logical explanation for this. I mean, my first thought was, ah, the artist was drunk, but then why would they hang the painting? I suppose it's conceivable that there's an actual professor who was an armadillo, and if that can happen, then anything's possible. He was visiting some polar region, was trying to fit in with the lo locals, and was really thirsty for cow milk, and what was the accident? I'm telling you it's a riddle, wrapped inside of an enigma wearing a penguin suit. At least the wall behind the painting makes sense. It's solid and real. <laughs> Aw, she is cute. Couldn't you just die? Couldn't you just eat her up? Of course, if you ate her up, you probably would die. Of sugar overdose. <laughs> Read the plaque. Read the plaque. Gwen, fairy princess of the highlands. Ah, <laughs> so cute. This portrait just makes me want to be a fairy, want a fairy princess of my own. Once I'm old enough for the responsibility. Well, at least he knows he needs to take responsibility for that kind of thing. I figure I'll be ready in another 30, 40 years. <laughs> Nothing back there except the lifetime supply of cute. <laughs> and she is. She is adorable. It looks like this is just a locked room to a locked door to a storage room. A locked door with a fairly simple lock. We need lock picks. Yes, we need to make money. Ooh, perception increase. Nope, a sound to be heard in there. To Darla's wing. Who is Darla? I don't know. I don't know if I exploring up here real quick. Yep. I think people I hear people talking behind that door. You better be careful. I can barely make out that someone is talking, but I can't make out- I can barely make out that someone is talking, but I can't make out the words. Guess I need to sharpen my eavesdropping skills a little before I can hear anything through this thick door. Oh, more cute! What? Errol is a cute little mer baby. She is accompanied in the painting by two of her piscatorial pals. Oh my gosh! <laughs> it's- it's Flounder and Sebastian! It says, Princess Ariel, ruler of the seas. Legends say mermaids are so pure, only virgins can see them. <laughs> it's like unicorns. Also, he's a virgin. Oh. Huh. Now that I think about it, why did they put an empty seascape there instead of a portrait? <laughs> this, that could be dangerous. This painting might be the only thing keeping the sea from flooding into the castle. Assuming, of course, that the rest of the castle is watertight, which it almost certainly isn't, and not on a hill well above sea level, which it quite certainly is. That's amazing. I love that picture. That baby is adorable. Interesting. It says, Cartoffelman was born as the son of a humble potato farmer, but after inadvertently becoming a local hero of the battle against the Great Mole, or Grossa Mal... Worse, worse slot, as it is as it's known. He rose to prominence as the lord of his local region of Fad Kartoffel Ort. What's there's more. While not the sharpest pencil in the box, nor the strongest arm pencil in the box, Kartoffelman's unflappable spirit and blindingly ignorant courage made him a hero <laughs> of his day. I love how the engraver put the urm <laughs> right on the plaque, as if he was making up the inscription as he went along. This makes it sound like he, he's no longer alive, but I hope he is. I have a great mole oh. on my back that I'd like removed. Hmm, no safes, no hidden compartments, just a few potato peelings. 
Oh, nope. We do not want to encounter him. The last thing I need is to have Turk catch me trying to eavesdrop on him. He runs around so much, he can catch me anytime. Of course, he has to sleep sometime, doesn't he? Maybe not. The schedule says Turk is in an office from 10 to 10 every day, but he must get up earlier than that. I bet he doesn't have breakfast. He probably just looks around the school like a rabid hyena, trying to catch and eat unsuspecting students. Or at least give them demerits. That'd be a silly risk. It's not as if anyone ever willingly comes to hmm. see him anyway. Why? So I can go in my pile of least wanted mementos? Oh, we should search the couch cushions yes. for Lyra. Uh... They bet it soaked with the sweat of a thousand students who we were sent to Turk's office and cooled their heels on the couch while they were waiting for him. Dang it, we can't even search the cushions? Lack of sign on the door. It looks like this might be an unused office or someone who wants to be anonymous. The lock is a pretty simple one. Very pleasant little tree with a very pleasant little shape and a terrific personality, I'll bet. Ray Raphael Ray Wrightsfire has always wanted to be a hero. From a young age, he was always off questing for glory. Mm -hmm. He enjoyed many such adventures. In time he matured and it became and it became much less about glory and much more about helping others. Eventually, the people lovingly coined the name Righteous Fire. Oh, Righteous Fire. <sighs> Through this paladin zeal, or Righteous Fire, that burned deep within his heart. It's rumored that having such a strong sense of justice and compassion, Righteous Fire could never refuse age, no matter the aid, no matter the risk. Many believe this to be the reason for his mysterious disappearance. Righteous Fire's hope is that the future generations of heroes can strive to do good for all persons. His legacy stands the test of time, and novice paladins live by the, this creed. Love conquers all, but never go into battle without a sharp sword, a strong shield, and trustworthy friends. What a hero. Maybe someday I'll get a chance to mysteriously disappear mm. too. Then they'll have to have a painting of me up here. Probably not. There's a distinct lack of anything distinct back mm. here. There's a, shadow, there's a statue of Shadow, one of the school's most renowned wizards. Looks like a statue of a wizard using his staff as a weapon. He looks rather tough. I wouldn't want to mess with him in real life. There's a large plaque at the bottom of the statue. Legend states that Shadow was not seen or heard. Shadow would appear and strike with fierce intensity, then disappear. No one knows of Shadow's whereabouts, so Shadow still, still might be... Still might still be at large or buried underground. Either way, Shadow met his objectives each and every time. That's the way to do it. Pop in, take everyone by surprise, pepper them with spells, and pop somewhere else. Why does anyone ever bother with hand-to-hand -hand combat? Of course, you've got to be f as fast and focused as someone like Shadow, or you could pop into a boulder or something. Or with your back turned, or some drooling nightmare. It takes, off your your takes your head off in half a second. So I guess that's why it's not for everyone. And I know capes are traditional, but if I was a wizard, I don't think I'd ever wear one. Don't they get in the way of your staff and your wand? Like, what are they? F what are they? Just for dramatic effect? Needowing. It's a pretty fancy door. The plaque says this leads to the needowing. Needow. <laughs> Whoa. Aww. Oh, that's from Hero's Quest 2. Whoa, Cedar Nymph. She's so beautiful. If she were human, she'd probably be very popular. Nah. Mm. Uh. I may pull on her branches, but I doubt she'd be okay with it. Okay. Okay. Oh. Okay with it. Sorry, that was difficult. <laughs> The beast from the east. That's all it says. 
What sort of animal is this? It looks mostly like a bear, but not quite. He's got a bottle of something in a bag. And he's kind in a kind of city I've never seen before. This is so odd. Why is it here? Was he a student? A founder? Huh. No clues back there. Outsmart it again. Oh, we can run. Oh, yeah, I just noticed that. <laughs> I love how we both noticed that at, like, the exact same time. Princess Luwinor, savior of Sardonia, a true hero, stalwart, pure of heart, and sweetest of soul. When Sardonia was threatened with destruction by a monstrous sea dragon, she accomplished the impossible by taming it with kindness by feeding it. We are forever in her debt. Wow. It was clear that beauty tamed the beast. Mm -hmm. That's a magical door. A five-pointed star in a circle is a magic symbol. And I, and I said that without even looking at the sign over the door. Magic! <laughs> I just noticed that. But this couch is comfy enough to sleep on, but I'm afraid the color would keep me awake. <laughs> Look at the flickering lights. I see a door frame, but instead of a door I see a brick wall and flickering lights. This does not look normal. I can put my hands right through the lights. I can't feel them though. There's no heat, only light. The brick wall right behind them feels completely solid. Maybe you're just not magical enough yet to do that. Mm -hmm. There's a lot of stuff in these shelves, but they all seem to be for the care and feeding of the plants. It smells like a fertilizer, some empty pots, a small trowel, a nipper, a nipper, a little mister. Hey, that's what my mother used to call me when she was angry at me. Little mister. This would only be useful if so I was trying to grow a plant, which I'm not. But we might at some point, so we should keep that in mind. Mm -hmm. I'll get the orb. What in? What's it for? Where did it come from? How can something so bright not be even a little bit warm? I have no idea what it is, but I think I want one. <laughs> it says, it's Benjamin Penny. Hero used first non-gnomish alchemist to successfully tr transmute gold into lead. <laughs> Five-time university weaving champion until, a f until an unfortunate accident transformed him into a spider. Left to pursue, pursue interest in heavy metal and web development. Okay. Gold into lead. I wonder why anyone would want to do that. that. The lead forks, knives, spoons, plates, and cups I used when I was a kid were always bending and breaking. That actually explains a lot. <laughs> that he ate everything off of lead? <laughs> yes. Well, I don't know what he's concocting in that portrait, but it looks delicious. Kind of looks like Michael J. Fox. Yeah, <laughs> kind of. This is why you always make friends with alchemists. They're always right about something, at least once in a while. Look behind the portrait? There's nothing behind the portrait, but now that I'm touching it, I think the frame is made out of lead. Let's see. Yep. I can always tell by the taste. <laughs> Why are you licking lead things? <laughs> Look at the book. Sitting open like that. It's practically begging to be read. Mido may be one of the most enigmatic students Hero U has ever had. Few students or teachers remember him because he had a natural talent to blend into a crowd and be unnoticed and quickly faded from the memory of those who met him. His ability made him a shoe in for the disbarred bard curriculum, but he chose to be a sorcerer, saying that he didn't like all that stealing business. <laughs> he graduated near the top of his class, although no, not so near that anyone noticed, and it is believed to have become the very, a very successful hero, although nobody seems to remember having met him. He has donated generously to the school to help foster an environment where any student can become any type of hero regardless of background or lack of skill. Wait a minute, I just finished that page and I can hardly remember what it said. <laughs> I 
It's Nito. Oh my gosh. Mm. I just realized what his full name is. It's a Pokemon reference. There's a small note after the name King Nito at the bottom of the statue. It says, warning, not 100% king. Was considered a king among men by the people who used to remember him, but then forgot him, no matter how hard they tried. Statue may contain inaccuracies due to a sculptor forgetting subject partway through. Well, that explains why I've never heard of a King Nito. So what's the Pokemon reference? We'll see on his statue, it says Nito King. Yep. That's Nido King. He's a Pokemon. <laughs> Is he forgettable? Um, I mean, I forgot he existed until I mm. saw the thing on there, so kind of. <laughs> mm. I don't remember exactly what his abilities are either, so, you know, that tells you that too. Incredible. Look at all the fine details. I'd ha it'd have to ha it had to have taken someone a year to make all of those, maybe more. King Nido must have been very deeply loved. <laughs> Steal the stained glass window. Excuse me while I begin popping leaded glass out of the wall. I'm not sure what it is, but it looks a cross between a gigantic bird and some kind of flying fish. Look at the generator. What in the world is this thing? What are those bright flashes coming out of it? And why is the hair on my head standing up? Could it be some kind of device that makes hair combing easier? If so, it seems like overkill. You're ridiculous. It appears to be um, progressing time in real time, with the exception of um, like events and stuff. Mm -hmm. Like going to dinner, for instance. Mm -hmm. Anything else? Nope. Let's check out the science lab. Okay. It's closed and there's nothing like a normal lock on it. I have no idea how to open this thing. It's got a permanent keep out vibe to it. We'll be able to go there eventually, I'm sure. Ooh, excuse me. Sorry for the yawns. Starless wing. Mm -hmm. Now this is a door with personality. Look at the carvings. Look at the extraordinary hardware. Even the headmaster doesn't get a door like this. Whoa. Mm -hmm. This place is pretty. I like all the green. That heart is a paladin emblem, not just on the banner, it's worked into this room all over the place. So this must be like the paladin's area. I'm sensing a theme, because the other area was like magic and alchemy and stuff. Lord Olwyn, the one and one of the sea serpents he is said to have slain. What incredible story his must be. We can hide behind it. Oh, interesting. Worth knowing if I'm ever avoiding... What's his name? Snape. <laughs> it's only mm. volume one! Looks like Olwen, as a very young boy, showed a great aptitude for short play. Apparently he conquered his school's entire second grade class while he was still in kindergarten. You good boy! Apparently a friend and his entire family was lost when their boat was attacked by Cecil, a legendary monstrous C6- <gasps> I have that book! What book? Cecil the C6 Sea Serpent! <laughs> it's so good! Esther has it now, but I had it when I was a kid. Ever since then, Olwen devoted himself to riding the seas of these foul, merciless, merciless beasts. Then when he was seven, he started- stowing away aboard fishing ships. By the time he was nine, he'd killed over 20 sea serpents, including Cecil. And he didn't use his sword. He bashed Cecil in the head with rocks. Incredible. Hmm. 
That guy looks like he'd tell you you can no one can merely walk into Mordor. Wow, a knight in the armor kneeling in a field of bodies. He looks more sad than triumphant. He must be a paladin. There's nothing back there. Too bad. You can fit a hell of a big safe behind a portrait this size. Read the part. In honor of Kendrick, one of the noblest paladins in history, he perished while defending S Sardonia from invasion. May his memory live on in his family, his compatriots, and this school. The plaque says, After years of saving people, fighting evil, and crusading in the name of goodness and honor, Paladin Sama made the ultimate sacrifice by giving up his body and soul to restore the duck of equilibrium, bringing the balance back to the world. Okay. Fortunately, he got better for the sequel. This, <laughs> this statue was made three adventures afterwards while he was training with some monks in the Far East. I don't know what the duck of equilibrium is or what a sequel is, but I like the sound of both of them. I wonder if all paladins were named after Paladin Sama, or if Paladin Sama just had decided to live up to his name. Either way, he sounds like one of the bi biggest of the big time heroes. Seems to be a pretty simple table. No hidden latches, panels, levers, mechanisms, or anything out of the ordinary. Unless, of course, they're hidden so well that even I'm fooled. But I'm pretty good at spotting these things, even if I can't always open them. I wonder if the these books had some significance for Darla, or whether they were just chosen at random. Here's one. How to Achieve Conquest of the Longbow by Chris T. Marks. Seems like that's a joke name, but I'm not getting it. Mm. My reading skills are already excellent. Thank you very much. So why not read more? Reading is the best. Maybe they put refreshments on here on Darla Day. If there's such thing as if there's such a thing as Darla Day. If there isn't, there should be. These books look like they haven't been picked up in ages, but I think I see why. This one is called The Seven Habits of Highly Effective <laughs> Bumpkins. Who wastes their time reading this? I've heard of this one, The Importance of Being Earning. <laughs> by Scotticus Murphy and Marcus Crow. Scott Murphy and Mark Crow. Yeah. I think it's a problem about problems that crop up when you're trying to clean a ship. Mm-hmm. It's amazing. That's Space Quest references! I love it! The placard says, If you want unconditional love, love a dog. Their heart will always be yours. Whoever said that money can't buy me love forgot about puppies. <laughs> There's nothing behind this dock eared painting. It's just a solid rough wall. I like that one. That one's sweet. Oh, there's more things to look at. So many paintings. The plaque only says, best friends forever in our hearts, but that strong noble face really gives you pause. <laughs> Sorry, that just one occurred to me. <laughs> Dad, Papa, you're so happy. I sniffed around the back of that dog, but I didn't find anything. Look at me, he's the happiest pupper ever, I'm pretty sure. He looks pretty happy. This must be Darla. She makes my heart stop. Her eyes, they're twinkling with merriment and wisdom, belying her youth. Her hands are so relaxed, you can sense how effortless her fingering is and how complete her mastery of the violin is. I think I'm in love. Nope, nothing back there except a couple of large iron spikes driven into the stone to hold up the portrait. very long. It looks like it tells Darla's whole life story. Here's a chapter on how she was one of the founding members of the How to Be a Hero School. Wow. Look at this. She was a friend of the evil Meep. I had no idea. The evil Meep almost brought down the headmaster. It was Grandmaster Gerhard von Urwald's arch and nemesis. Seems like an odd sort of companion for a paladin like Darla. Pretty sure the evil Meep was a creature in Hero's Quest and 
That name really sounds familiar. Well, yeah, because he's the teacher of the disbarred bards. No, I mean, like, I, I think I remember a name, that name or a similar name from Heroes Quest. Ah. According to this part, she was a paladin where she joined when she joined the school, and then she fell in love with the most roguish of all rogue students. Mm -hmm. Now there's a scandal I can get into. <laughs> well, she'd probably never look twice at a small-time rogue like me, but I can dream, can't I? It's a pretty big display case just for a violin. I wonder if something's been stolen from it. Or maybe her current instrument is the cello and they're just re getting ready for it. Sorry. <sighs> because I shifted, the light was weird on me. This is a beautiful instrument. The little plaque says this was Dollar's first violin, and it's the only one she's hold and it's the one she's holding in the portrait. I don't know how to play the violin. These hands were meant for a different sort of art altogether. Who is that popper? Who is that popper? The placard says, Shadow, for until the end and beyond. Oh man, I wonder if I'll ever know what it's like to have a smart, loyal dog by my side. That's such a majestic buffer. I forget the breed of this dog, but I think I knew one named Nana. <gasps> she was so sweet and gentle and playful. She was darling. It's Peter Pan references. Their dog, the, the families were the darlings, and their dog uh, was named Nana. Gotcha. Also, isn't Shadow the name of the mage? Mm hmm The wizard that was... Hmm. Would be interesting if yeah. that was the wizard. I love it when they stand the way that way and look up at you, ready to hear anything you have to say, ready to do what you want. Such a rare and valuable bond. That, do that does it. Someday I'm going to steal myself a dog. <laughs> Not buy myself a dog. Steal one. Alright. Should we go up to the garden or are we going... Back. We're, 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 I think we're okay on time, right? Two and a half hours. Okay. Wow. These flowers are so big, you can beat someone over the head with them. Mm -hmm. The view from up here is amazing. I guess they end up pistol whipped. <laughs> They'd probably have a stigma about flowers forever. I'd reduce them to a stain and pile of- well, you get the idea. I don't see anything in here that doesn't belong to the plant. This is an incredible garden. I don't think this tree is entirely well. There's some kind of fungus on the trunk. I'll try to avoid the fungus and poke through the branches a little. Ow, I scraped my arm on the trunk. I guess its bark is worse than its blight. Mm. This game's amazing. <laughs> plants hither. Are there plants yawn? <laughs> hither. <laughs> hither and thither? Yep. There are a lot of unusual plants here. Maybe they're being grown for the kitchen or the infirmary or something. Maybe there's plants hither, thither, and yawn. Mm. This reminds me of the Natalie tree I used to climb when I was a kid. It used to bloom with, bloom with lots of golden curls year round. I loved it. Natalie tree. I can't see anything in the lower branches, and I'm not getting any closer to that Cornell. It's a beautiful fall, but it's a hard landing. <laughs> very pretty little whatever it is. I never know whether something like that is a bush, a shrub, or a small a small tree, or something else. There are some little white bugs crawling on this plant. I don't know what they are, but I'm not touching them. Sounds like aphids to me. So far we got fungus and bugs. So I'm thinking maybe we can go back to that plant shelf at some point. Mm -hmm. There's nothing I don't love about this fountain, except it's too deep for waiting. I already said it's too deep for waiting. I love the way the fine spray waves over my face. I try to let it do that every chance I get. Never let it be said that I missed an opportunity. Mm. Ba-doo-tch. Ba-doo-tch. 
<laughs> the ditch. <laughs> okay. We gotta look at plants that are there. There, these are some pretty odd looking plants and they're being so carefully tended I bet they have some sort of use beyond just looking pretty I mean yep, yep. yay plants hit their plants to their and plants yawn hit their to their and yawn you know a little too prim and proper they're too densely packed with branches and leaves I don't see how anything could be hidden in there but isn't that the best place to hide things where it's really densely packed they're very cute, but yeah, we're too this. fussy. Yeah, for me. Yeah, and we already looked at that thing as well. Oh, that one also has white buggies crawling on it. Plants yawn! So many different varieties. I'm sure some of these must be useful for healing or something. What's that? The, oh, it's a bench. see more comfortable benches in a dungeon. I wasn't a prisoner, I was just there for the show. <laughs> There's an engraved brass plaque on the back of the bench. Flax says, this is Bignon's Longing Tower Garden. Something to do with some guy named Goth, or maybe very thick steaks. Better look it up. Because <laughs> filet mignon. Um... Pronounced Goethe or Goethe or something like that. What did he write? I mean, I know his name. I just can't. I don't remember his. I can probably jump down to his works. Poet, novelist. Faust. Faust, yes. The one about making a deal with a devil. Mm -hmm. I read that ages ago. I've That's never I've never read it. I know like about it, but I've never read it. Interesting. <laughs> Oh, did you see the, the Captain Marvel trailers come out now? Hmm. I haven't watched it yet, but I'm excited. Yeah, right. Now we can watch it the game. If you like. Okay, it's almost 9 o'clock, it looks like. Oh, no. Nope. That's almost 8 o'clock. Alright. Um, Sorry, it looked like the hand was further up. I think we've pretty much explored everything. Yeah. So, so do we want to go to our room then? I want to go to the, um, the plant care section. Oh, back in the other room? Where was that? It was in the Nito room, wasn't it? I think so. There was a shelf that had a little plant care stuff on it. <laughs> they're they're, they're in yawn. <laughs> Still funny. That one right there. No. Okay, no. so we can't do anything with it yet. Um, there were other. Is it, is it? Yes. Um, there was a few doors that we haven't. From the main area, like from yeah. places we have been before. Yes, I know. Courtyard. Yeah, I'm in the courtyard. No, it's not. The plaque says Ernest Wilson, a renowned arborist and world traveler, was an avid collector of rare plants and flowers. That guy looks majestic, doesn't he? Plaque says Augustine Henry, botanist and passionate seed collector. Because of his love of nature, he helped preserve and propagate many rare plants and trees. Google is herbologists and arborists. They sure know how to get rid of them here. Those 
pink violet flowers make a lovely color accent to the rest of the courtyard. No, but I will miss a few flowers on this tray as long as I don't get caught carrying them with me. Doggo! No. Cedar, I'm not going to pine for the alder times. Maybe someone should spruce up those fallen <laughs> needles, though, just for a larch. Mm. Not only in green in summertime, but also in the wintertime. It's just like Christmas in the fall. Hmm, Corgi the Cuddly Gor Cor Corgi the Cuddly Corgi. He looks so sweet and lovable, but you have to figure that since he's among rogues, he probably stole food and buried his master's gold in the backyard. Who's a good boy? Who's a little good, good little corgi corgi? Yes, you are. Yes, you are. Yes, you are. He's a good boy. I wonder what this lady was pouring into the pool. Given that she's amongst rogues, I'm guessing she's just destroying <laughs> evidence. There's another statue like that. Ooh, apples. This is a pomegranate tree. Ah. I always recognized them because I knew a guy who grew them and replaced all his teeth no. with pomegranate seeds. Much every time you eat a pomegranate? <laughs> he had to do it over and over, of course. Eventually, I think a pomegranate seed took root and started growing into his face. But it's possible he embellished that story for my sake. Mm, pomegranates. Mm, pomegranates, not bad. Still, I prefer them to stewed with chicken the way my kata neighbor used to make. What's the point? Not as if I'll be able to climb through any windows once I'm up there. They're all pomegranate trees. Someone really must love pomegranates. It's like they use the seeds to make healing potions or something. Yeah, they actually are used for healing potions. That's what makes them red. <laughs> I wonder if these rocks were put here by design or whether they just were pitched over the castle walls a long time ago and it was easier to build a <laughs> garden around them than it was to throw them back. That sounds like a lot of work. Maybe tomorrow or the next day. Sometime when I feel particularly mighty or want to just give myself a hernia. Ooh, there's a trap, a trap door. door. It's like a place where the students come to gossip. I mean, to exchange ideas and concepts in a pleasant, stress-free setting. Or a romantic place to cuddle and coo if one were into such things. Now the stones on the floor look look a bit loose. Wait, there's a trap door here. Oh, aren't you observant? Attack the gazebo. <laughs> look at the trap door. Examine the trap door. Discus. Now, why would anyone put this here if they didn't want it looked into? Oof. Well, that's no good. I think it's locked from the other side. I'm sure we'll find a way to unlock it too. Attack the gazebo. I mean, really. Better not if I awake and eat me. What surely knows the story of Eric and the dread gazebo? It's terrifying. Mm. <sighs> Ooh, is there a library through there? A what? I think there's a library through there. To the uh, the um the library. It's pronounced library. No, no, it's not. I always have trouble with that one. Wow, I didn't know where there were this many books in the whole world. You're a sweet little plant. Nothing. What kind of couch doesn't have spare change in the cushions? Kira probably got here before me. Don't jump to conclusions. Librarians <laughs> have to eat too, you know. Oh, he's in our class. Yes. 
He's also a disbarred bard. What? So what do you think of this school? I really don't know what to think about this hero university yet. I thought we'd all learn about heroes and noble deeds. I mean, this castle was supposed to be a bastion of heroism against the forces of chaos and evil. Well, here I am in the disbarred bard's class, learning of skills of which no self-respecting paladin would approve. Nothing is as I expected to be before I came here. Not even the castle. This is a library. Keep your conversations restricted to your studies. Prude. Sorry, sir. I would not exactly call them good, but there is a section upstairs devoted to the sort of skills we need for the disbarred bards class, so we'll try, probably try to read most of them. Hey, maybe we can find what this library has book on these skills, if we can find the book that we need and just borrow it instead of trying to buy it. The lockpicking one? Yeah, the lockpicking one. Rogue skills, not thief skills. Think of all the new things you'll be learning if you read all these rogue books. I'm sure you can find a way to put those skills to good use. So where do I find these rogue skills books? The rogue skills section is upstairs. Just go past the dog painting around the corner. It's the last section nearest to the librarian's desk. Cool. See you later. Good evening, Sean. So we gotta go upstairs. Find a book. explore first. Oh. Wait, you don't want to look? Okay, we don't have to. I do. I do. It's odd. It feels really, really cold in this area. The cold is death sort of cold. Do not disturb the painting. Why not? I was just looking at it. It is not to be disturbed. <laughs> I have a feeling something evil is trapped inside that painting. Hmm. It says, oh. Sir Hans, founder of the Knights Luminar, <laughs> hero of the Chaos Gate, interred in the heart of Castle Luminar, where he had once protected the world from the forces of darkness. Whoa, he was incredibly accomplished. And there's something so endearing about him. Maybe it's just the way it's painted, but he looks so distinguished and distinctive, so wise, so friendly. Every time I look behind one of these paintings, I get a face full of dust. The kind of... So kind of you to dust the paintings here, but try not to ingest too many spiders when you breathe in the dust. Hey, we're taking care of the library. What are you doing? Hmm, the clock isn't working. Hey, did you know your clock isn't working? I did indeed. It's meant to remind you that if you're looking at the clock, you're not working either. Hmm. Oh, I think he's just too lazy to... Um, reset the clock. Under closer examination, I see nothing but clock parts. I think I'll just stuff everything back in and close the door if I can. I would tell you to sit down and read a book, but given the delicacy which you just displays, <laughs> I am concerned for the book. Sorry, it's all part of my investigation. Please restrict your investigation to things outside the library from now on. The plaque says this Some is rancor, you know. yeah. The plaque says this is Philip Ma Matthew Philip Wee. Well, he seems like a very distinguished officer. He also looks very personable and down to earth. Perhaps that makes him the model of a modern major general. I am the very model of a modern major general. But then again, I don't know what who, what those insignium stand for. Maybe he's a commendable commander or a pe pretty petty officer. Pretty sure he's a sergeant. I am the very modern of a modern major general. Is that a Hollywood thing? Or a Broadway thing? Yeah. But with all those stripes, I don't think there's anything petty about him. Whatever he is, I don't think I'll be, have to be reminded to salute him. Because he's not an officer. <laughs> those would be the marks of Gal Galgoa, Lord of Darkness, behind the paintings, which were... This is where he lurks. Be cautious. When suddenly exposed light, he immediately feeds. Are you kidding me? Perhaps. Is it worth your life to find out? <laughs> I like the librarian. Mm. 
It's a so G- Gilbert and Sullivan song mm-hmm. um, from the Pirates of Penzance. Uh. I couldn't remember exactly what it was from, so I had to look it up. All right. Hi, I'm Sean O'Connor. I'm in the Disbarred Bards class. Question one. Um, what? The Disbarred Bard section is in, oh, Q1. Not question one, Q1. Oh, thanks. I was just trying to introduce myself. Very well, you have successfully introduced yourself. <laughs> so what do I call you? I am the librarian. That will suffice. This place is impressive. I've never seen so many books. How do you keep track of them all? Books do not leave this library. You are permitted to study or do research in the library until curfew. The books return to their proper places each night. Are the books all magical? There are no magical books accessible here. The bookshelves have been enchanted to keep books pro- properly organized. Organized, So the bookshelves are magical, not the books. <laughs> so how are you? How am I what? Um, so how are you feeling? How's your day going? Is there some logical motivation for your inquiries, or are you just wasting my time? I was just trying to chat with you. Since I'm new here, it's useful for me to find out who's who and what's what. I do not chat. <laughs> Good evening. It was nice talking to you. <laughs> you are the librarian. What? Okay, Q1. That's M, and that's N, so we need to go that way. Pupper. It is a pupper. Oh, weird looking pupper. The fuck? Did I just hear a dog whining? Must have imagined it. This just looks like an ordinary painting of dog. A friendly, happy sort of dog. The plaque says that this is Leo the Lionhearted. I guess he's a brave dog, too. (laughs) Why do I get the feeling that Leo is sad and lonely? Sorry, Leo. There's nothing I can do for you. If I ever find a way to make you feel better, I'll be sure to let you know. Weird. Now I'm going around talking to paintings and they're talking back. Okay. That's weird. I guess I should under the circumstances, but I'm not at all sure what I, I, I want to. Hello? There's nothing behind the painting. No secret doors, no hidden dog kennels, and no ghosts. And no slavering lords of darkness. I'm glad about the last part. Listen, at the painting, maybe? It's really weird, but I swear... I hear panting. Oh, he's a ghost! And one sad and noisy dog... dog whine. Sorry, Leona, you're a good boy. I'll try to make you feel better some way. Oh. We gotta fix this. We got a new quest. <laughs> In the journal. Hey, look at us. Our stuff going up. Our charms up to three. Our perceptions up to four. Or uh, up three points. Perceptions. Gaming is a skill. Yep. Like playing cards and stuff. Oh, Gregor really likes us! Gregor likes everyone. Gregor's the greatest! Hello, I'm Gregor. Gregor? Good friend. Poor puppy. The painting of Leo the Lionheart seems haunted by a lonely ghost. If I could only- if I could make the pupper happier. Maybe I can find a ghost ball. We should look for stuff for Leo the Lionhearted. Because clearly he was a brave boy in life, and he deserves some happiness in the afterlife. Okay, it's officially our our job to um, make Leo the Lionhearted happier. I approve. Oh, uh, P, P2, Q1, here we go. Okay, I'm in the bookshelf. Hey, this section is labeled Disbarred Bards. Guess no one wants to admit there might be rogues here at the school. Study Beginner's gu- Lock, a guide to the picking locks. There we go, yep, that's what we need. Well, that's straightforward enough. I think this is the name of the book we're supposed to read for class. There's something odd about the cover of this book. It's thicker than a normal book. It looks like it can be opened up if I pull this cover. Oh, do you know? There's a set of wooden lock picks stuck in the cover. I'll just remove them for nah. safekeeping. Time to hit the w- books. 
So, I, you will do no such thing. Some of those books are very fragile, and I expect you to treat them with care. Time to urgently pat the books. Smarts increase, tool use increase. Nice. So that's how lock picks work. Okay. What time is it now? Oh, oh shit. shit. We gone. We gotta get to our dorm room. Okay, 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 we gotta hurry, we gotta hurry. Seriously, we only have 10 minutes to get all the way down to the dormitories. We'll be fine. We're gonna get to merits, man! That's screwed. I don't want to deal with Turk, man. If it was the Turk and JD Turk, no problem. It would be very <laughs> chill. Wrong way, wrong way. Nope. That hallway. Yeah. But I don't like this Turk. Plus, that Turk likes puppies, especially the. Um, okay, first door in our. Dermied ones. Oh, oh, first one. We are Sean. Whoa! Hey there! He's a tiefling. No, he's a. a. a pan. What was Pan? Pan was, um. Fawn. He's a fawn. Like Mr. Tumnus. Fawns don't have horns. Uh huh. Do they? Yeah! <laughs> Mr. Tumnus had horns. Oh, yeah. Yep. He offered to let us use his instruments Aww. because he's a bard and we're disbarred bard. <laughs> Thanks. Got any lockpicks? He looks shocked. Mm -hmm. Say what? Never mind. I didn't think so. It's a really nice dorm room. No oh, shit. What the fuck, dude? Loot. It's a single drawer nightstand, and there's no way to lock the drawer. I guess we might either have to be trusting, or else they don't put anything valuable in the nightstand. There's nothing in the drawer but dust. <sighs> we made it back before curfew. Study your lessons? There's a plain wooden desk that looks as old as a castle, but there's no sign of any other- that no sign any other student used it before me. The chair, however, looks like a well-made item of torture design to give me a backache and a sore butt every time I try to study in it. We could make it more comfortable, probably. Let's see if I can read my own handwriting and actually learn something. Hey, getting smarter. Getting smarter. Wow, it's already 11 o'clock. It's a really solid wooden wardrobe and has my name on the plaque. It's clearly designed to store all the expensive treasure and gold I gather at the school. Assuming, of course, that I can gather any expensive treasure and gold around here. If I stole something, this would be the first place Turk would look for it. Hey, there are two daggers in here. Sweet. One of the daggers looks long and sharp, the sort of weapon you'd use in a fight. The other is narrow and lightweight. It must be a throwing knife. I'll just have to add these to my collection. I should probably equip the dagger in case I get into trouble. I think our roommate's looking at us. Now I have a nice empty wardrobe of my very own. Okay, let's equip our stuff. I agree. Yeah, look, we have our first piece of equipment. We still need to get our uniform, but one thing at a time. This is pretty solid. Oh my gosh. Looks like this is just a pile of clean and dirty clothing. It's hard to tell the clean ones from the dirty. Doesn't Aelis know what the wardrobe is for? He's got pictures of <laughs> rock loudus on the on the. <laughs> yeah, yeesh, Aelis is slopper than a pigsty. No way I'm wasting my time cleaning up Aelis's mess. He needs to do it. These drums look like they've taken a beating. 
I don't see any drumsticks, so I'll just use my hand. It kind of makes you want to bang on it all day. It's hard to tell there's even a desk here. It's covered in random papers, books, and even clothing. I'm starting to think he's got more clothes than pros. Ha! <laughs> it's gonna be a message about the latest song Aeolus is working on. Possibly early warning for his current crush. <laughs> Well, this is certainly a mess. It's almost entirely school-related. The books on music history and literary reference, along with a smattering of sheet music and hastily written class notes and calligraphy. Mm -hmm. With all this paperwork being over, it sounds almost as bad as being an accountant. What do you hastily write with calligraphy? Um, lots of practice. I've done it before. Mm. So, a book titled Crescendos and Don'ts. <laughs> See, sh seeing sharp without being flat. <laughs> Yep, yep, yep. <laughs> I'm guessing you had to be there. <laughs> it's so clever. Scenic Sardonia, eh? I admit it looks pretty from this angle, but it's probably because they cropped out my house. Hmm. Yeah, Pegasus. Mm hmm. What's back there? Ayala says plasters wardrobe with playbills and concert posters. The clutter is mostly schoolwork, I think. There are poetry books and sheets of music, both stained by what appears to be some identi unidentified life form growing from a neglected stein. Ayala should know he has to clean things up. This bard's all rhyme, no reason. Mm -hmm. Here's a book titled Raise Your High Q. A bard's guide to sly soliloquy. Is that anything like bunny foo? <laughs> Did the bunny foo foo hop through the forest? <laughs> so what is this place? It's some sort of old castle. Been here forever as far as I know. They just opened their university here a few months ago or so. Cool, isn't it? We get to live like kings. Sounds like a royal pain to me. Take a few nights and maybe a rook to check it out. Uh, Just wait and see. You won't be bored. After all, Bart's rule. Wow. I don't know. Being a king is never a peasant experience. <laughs> Surfs you right if you can't take a yoke. Resistance is futile. Nice. Nice. How do we share this dorm room? There's plenty of spare room to share here. That's your bed with your desk beside it. You can stash your stuff in the wardrobe over the other side of the room. What about all the junk on the floor? Feel free to move stuff if you need more room. There's no housekeeping service here, so I'm self-made man when it comes to feats <laughs> of needness. Self-made, yeah. So what can we do here at school besides sleep through our classes? <laughs> I spend most <laughs> I spend most of the evenings jamming out with my mates. Wait, he liked that. No. I spend most of my evenings jamming out with my mates, but the school has a nice rec room where most people hang out. After exams, there's a regular card game to work off the test tension and maybe make some money on bets. A card game, eh? I need to put rush up on my shuffle. It's a real deal, man. So if you're going to swim with the card sharks, you need to spot the fishtails on the flop. After all, the cards are against you. <laughs> No offense, but you look a bit odd. I've never seen eyes quite like yours. He's got creepy goat eyes. I just noticed it. Why did he have to point it out? Now I'm not <laughs> going to be able to look at it for the rest of the game. My mother was a fawn. Your mother was a deer? Spelled differently. No, my mother was a fawn, a female satyr. My father had an affair with her. One day he found me as a baby on his doorstep. I guess I must look a lot like my mother. You don't know? By the time I learned about my mother, all the satyrs and fawns were gone from the from, from around my home in Sasari. One so sorry. Mm. One day I'm going to go off to look for my mother. I'd like to know why she left me. Maybe she had no choice. Okay. It's been a long day for me, so I should get some shut eye. Good night, Aeolus. Rest assured you'll sleep like a dream. See you at dawn, Sean. I literally can't look at him. He's got creepy goat eyes. Oh, I hate goat eyes. Not creepy. It's just their eyes, man. And like, 
Most of the depictions of, like, demons, they have creepy goat eyes. So, you know what? Ugh. Goat eyes freak me out. Aww. Yeah, we're dressed up like, uh, Zelda. Look at him in... Look at him in his little sleeping cap. Mm. Hey, O'Connor, I suggest you pay attention to my lecture rather than inside of your eyelids. As I was saying. A rogue's motto should be off Alice for Beretet Sane. Be prepared for anything. That's why rogues have a certain tools of the trade that they always carry with them. Rope, chalk, oil, pliers, grapnel, matches, and lockpicks are the tools of choice for the experienced rogue. For instance, a piece of chalk in which in what way would a piece of chalk be useful to a rogue, Air Kent? A rogue can use it to mark his path through a dungeon so he doesn't get lost. Yeah, that is obvious, but how else can the rogue use a piece of chalk? Um, to keep his silverware from tarnishing? Perhaps, but that is hardly a roguish usage. Come on, come now. What creative way could you use chalk, Air Kiro? You can rub it on lockpicks so a key slides smoother into a rusty lock. Good. Rogue tools are versatile. What does one can of oil for? What does one use a can of oil for, Fraulein Esme? To grease any rust, to grease rusty hinge to stop squeaking. Yes, and what else? My people use special oil to breathe fire from their mouths. One never knows when breathing fire can be of use, but I do not recommend anyone trying that particular trick. However, burning oil can be used as a weapon. Arrow Connor. What do you consider to be quintessential tool for a rogue? I'd say lockpicks, but because they can get you into and out of a lot of trouble. Indeed, picking locks is a skill that all rogues should know. However, one one does not need lockpicks to open locks. It just makes it easier to do so. May purchase many of the tools I mentioned in the discussion from the school store. We will have further lectures on their use in the future. For now, you should acquire your own set of rogues' tools. Think about how many different ways you can make use of them. A rogue is limited only by his own imagination. Excellent advice for everyone, Master. I already have my complete set of tools and shall put them to good use. Shut up, Sosi. Very well, Er Sosi. You are a shining example for everyone here. Guten Tag. Alright. He's a sociopath. Perhaps. Alright, so Alright, where did we see easy to pick doors? Um, I don't know. Lock room. <laughs> Had lots of locks. Pick the lock? We can certainly try, I suppose. I'm in! Hey, you got into the lock room. Yay. Oh. Can we practice unlocking locks, the locks? And lockers. It's gonna be the lock. It's locked, that's not so much I can tell. Pick the lock. There are no good. Still locked. Let's try the other side. So there are locks to practice on. I guess. Same as the lock. It's locked. That much. Yeah, same thing. It's still locked. Why do they make squeaking locks so hard? Cool. Yay. Get better through practice. And we do. better tools. We do. Did we do this one? No. If practice makes perfect, why can't I open this dumb thing? <laughs> Stupid stubborn lock. I almost broke my pick on it. Oh. 
Are these tools broken or something? This is still locked. Guess my tools use skills aren't quite up to snuff yet. And just because I'm curious, since we increased it a couple times. Locked. It's still locked. This is locker 13. Oh, look at that. Practice lock picking for an hour. Boom, mm, this is lock all right. Start at one. Okay, yeah, makes sense. Is it lunchtime, roughly? No, it looks like it's what, three? Three o'clock? Yeah. It says locker one. Easy, easy there. Yay, tool use increased. This lock is more stubborn than a geriatric mule. I mean, it may take a while before we're here. Yeah. We should test it on some of the other doors, though. Yeah. You're not gonna pick your way into his office, are you? No. Not yet, anyway. To the practice room. Are we gonna? I don't think so. Work harder and smarter. Hmm. You realize that this is the disbarred board class, is the loser's yeah. class. But you realize that this disbarred board class is the loser's class. The hardly thinks that you're a loser, my dear kid, any more than I am. Here's the facts, I'm sorry. We're not good enough to be paladins. We're not badass enough to be warriors. We're not magical enough to be wizards. And we aren't talented enough to be bards. We're where they put the people who don't belong in a university for heroes. Master Von Erwald treats his class seriously. I don't believe he considers us to be losers. Yeah, right. If this class is so good, why are we hidden away from the other students in a dungeon with a teacher who looks like a villain from a play? <laughs> I am Sean, Sean O'Connor. So are you the leader of this losers club? How do I join? <laughs> I think you'll have no trouble find fitting in with losers, Sean. I'm Katie McMichael. Yes, after all, no one better fits the epithet of loser than you, O'Connor. Any suggestions on what I need to know or do here at the school? Well, if you want to fit in here, I think you should get cleaned up. You do look like something the cat dragged in. Furthermore, you smell like something the cat coughed up. So what's a nice girl like you doing in the loser's class? Just lucky, I guess. At least I'm not some nobler than all stuck-up paladin. Paladins aren't stuck up. If anything, they tend to be very humble. So do you always hang out after class here? This is a practice room. It's what we're supposed to be doing after class. Practicing our lessons and working out. So what is this rogue, cl rogue class deal? Is this summer glorified thieves guild? This is the disbarred bards class, remember? No rogues or thieves around this university, or so the headmaster wants people to believe. I'll see you around then. Sure, see you. I'm Sean, the new kid going around saying hello to everyone. <laughs> hello, Sean. I am Ismi. It is good to meet you. About half as good it is, uh, as it is to meet you, Esme. What do you think about the rogue or disbarred bards class? Are you, um, are you all a bunch of losers? No, we are not the losers. We are just different. It's not a bad thing. Difference is a good thing. I mean, you and I are very different. But here we all are all in the same class. Probably would never have met otherwise. You say that like it's a good thing. What brought you here to the Hero University? My parents did something for Headmaster years ago, and he owed them favor. I was given full scholarship. What did your parents do for the Headmaster? 
I do not know. Something to do with mm. reading fortune, I think. My parents are very good at seeing future. So what do you do in the practice? What do you do? What do you practice here in this room? I do not practice much here. These are not things I need to work at. With daggers, I am skilled. And I do not need to combat dummies to know how to fight. Is there something about the school that I need to know that would help me fit in better? As if you could fit in any in anywhere outside of a dark alleyway late at night. You should know that we hang out after supper at the rec room. It's a good place to play games and talk. Have you seen the rec room? Not that I know. So where is this rec room? Find the rec room. Mm -hmm. It's easy to find. Just go up to go upstairs to Great Hall and out to courtyard. That is where you'll find door to rec room. Oh, uh, because we didn't have time to explore the courtyard completely. I hope we can talk again sometime. I am sure that we will. Hey there, Sean here. I'm Thomas Kent. Welcome to. You. Okay, this is because we talked to him upstairs in the library, so it's like they never, they haven't like properly introduced themselves, but we properly. He's introducing himself twice. Thanks. It hasn't been too much of a welcome till now. It's an interesting place, this old castle and university. It's full of surprise surprises. Good thing I like surprises, then. Sorry. What do you think about this disbarred bards class? I really don't know what to think about it. I grew up with a strong sense of what good and what what is good and what is evil. Good people do good things. This class is sometimes hard to figure out what is right and what is wrong. Why did you come to this school? I had a scholarship to the university. Besides, I always wanted to be a hero. What do you practice in this room? I practice just about everything. It's all new to me. Tell me, what do you think I need to know about the school to get along here? I suggest that you check out the amazing library here at the school. It has books on almost every subject. It's a fine place to study and learn. I'll keep that in mind if I ever feel a burning need to study. Goodbye, then. Goodbye. You're Sosie, right? I'm Sean O'Connor. To you is Signore Sosie. Happy to meet you, Signore. Signore is a title like Sir. Cesare is a nobleman from Nova Roma. Ooh, fancy that. Such a pleasure to make your acquaintance, Signore Sosie. Pity that I cannot say the same for you. Okay, Draco Malfoy. So you don't consider rogues to be losers? No, but I am willing to concede an exception on your part. Why are you here at the school? You don't seem like the type of person who associates with rogues or losers. My family has a business interest here in Sardonia, so it was decided that I shall pursue my education while dealing with local financial affairs. So you're, you're running with rogues while you fence with the financiers, eh? Or is it the other way around? Kind of hard to tell the two groups apart. Mm. Hmm. What kind of practice do you do in this room beside the knifing people in the back part? Huh. I don't need to practice that skill. You provide an excellent target. What do you suggest I learn about the school to fit in better? You need to learn their place. I am the leader of this class. Do as I say and you might have managed to survive here. Follow your orders or what? You're gonna tell your mommy that I'm being mean to you? <laughs> Watch yourself, Connor. Goodbye. I'm out of here. Finally. What a douche. Yep. It reads, work harder and smarter. Steal it! <laughs> Steal <laughs> it! <laughs> that would be hard, but it wouldn't be <laughs> smart. <laughs> Ooh, we can practice our dagger throwing. We can lift some barbells. Terrible. 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 Damn, missed again. Oh, that's the early dinner bell. About time to go to the dining hall. Thanks. Yeah. 
Better read all these. They're probably very important or they wouldn't be posted here. Oh, it's the six rolls again. I'm beginning to think they want us to know these. Roll one. There's no rogue class. That must be the one I'm not in. Roll two. You do not speak of rogue class. Uh, what class is that? Roll three. You will demonstrate proper respect for authority in the, in the authority's presence. Got it. Lick boots, but only when they're mm. looking. Roll four. Thou shalt not steal from the school or classmates, although short-term borrowing without permission is acceptable. Hmm. Short-term as, <laughs> as is as in the rest of the school term? Rule five. This is school for heroes. Act appropriately. Okay. Gotta act like a hero. Don't need to be one. Rule six. Above all, don't get caught. I've already blown that one. I better be more careful next time. Is he talking about the start of the story? Yeah. It says it's the rules for the throwing knife station. Throw, ni throw knives can only at the dagger targets. Throw on a hero is thinking that Sosi would make a fine target. To properly throw a knife, hold it by the heaviest end. Huh, I thought you held it by the pointy end. Focus upon your future success and not upon your past failure. Okay, right, that's easy to say and much harder to do. There are four aspects to the perfect throw. A bounced stance, a smooth swing, a clean release, and a clear follow-through. Hmm, no mention of the knife. I guess if you can learn to throw the crummy knives here, you can throw anything. These are various rules for using the equipment, like... Please do not leave the equipment drenched in your perspiration. A towel is the most massively useful thing a, he a hero you trainee can have. <sighs> so basically, don't be disgusting. Yeah. We need to go to dinner. <laughs> we can practice more later. Archery? Whatever. Perhaps. Or for punching? Yeah. Since they have the. Broken yeah, legs. Yeah. Uh, which way? Oh. Up. Yeah. Yep. And then we got to find. After dinner, we should find the rec room. I used to get my exercise this way. Okay, this way, yep. Through that archway. And then keep going. And then it's gonna be your first door on your left. Yep. Well, not the first first door. I don't think we've gone through that. No, yet. that's the hero hall or whatever. Oh, what's the menu? The menu for today is Nova Roma has cuisine: antipasto, tagliatelle with bolognese sauce, and pianoforte. Don't know what it is, but it sounds pretty fancy for a school dining hall. That sounds delicious. I made tagliatelle for us once. Mm -hmm. Look, Draco's being the worst, and all of you have made friends with everybody else. After all, even the best played hands of Vice and Ben oft blow away. Cause see, best look. played hands yeah. of Mice and Ben. Cause look, there's Esme, and Katie, and that guy, whose name I can't remember at the moment, and your fawn roommate. What about them? You're friends with all the cool people, and over here is douchebag being a douchebag. Oh. <laughs> Side eye and you being like, oh, he's so lame. That's supposed to be funny. Well, it, it's really funny to a bridge player. Here we play Pooba rather than bridge. <laughs> you do what? What? When? Where? In, in the rec room, there is a game table where we can play. We don't play very often. Usually, just after an exam or before a holiday. We spend many evenings in the rec room. At least some of us do. Sounds like I should spend some time in the rec room then. <laughs> this is not a place for dilly dallying people. Clean up your mess and get on with your business elsewhere. He just feels like he's very tense all the time. Especially because of his fixer. His teeth are like dish. Mm -hmm. Alright, let's check out the Hall of Heroes. Big D's. According to the plaque, this display celebrates the life Aww. and loves of Leo the Lionhearted. It's the pupper. The items the here is his pupper. favorite brush, his favorite pillow, and his favorite bone. We have to steal his shit. I know, but not right now. An entire display of cabinet devoted to a dog. He must be some special canine. Wait, Leo is the name of the dog in the library painting. This must be his bone. It's locked. 
Not right now. You haven't saved recently! And we probably need to work on lockpicking some more. I better not try that again today. Someone might catch me. I'll come back after I have more lockpicking practice. Puck says Illuminari Castle. That's the ca this castle in its original form. I guess it looks really dark and spooky here. You don't s suppose someone's trying to warn me about something. Nothing back here except a lot unlocked wall safe full of money and secret <laughs> papers. Just joshing. Puck says Uhura. Uhura. Hero of the Simbani. Oops. I clearly do not want to get on her bad side. She pointed out to me sharply and stick me in my place. Hura. Hura. It's not exactly easy to say. From what it says, the island display are the ones the very one seen in the portrait right behind it. It's devoted to Sir Jamis's horse whim. These are his breastplate, horseshoes, and bridle. Oh. According to this plaque, this is Sir Jameis, one of the founding knights of the Luminar, and one of the builders of this very castle. I'm surprised he doesn't get a statue. Nothing back there but a little horse manure. Wait, what? It's just moss. Do we look for bookshelves? These are all written by famous, the famous adventurer. How does anyone write so many books in one lifetime? The only man I know who was nearly as prolific was the famous King Stephen. What? You get it, right? Mm -hmm. Stephen King. <laughs> your favorite author! <laughs> or one of your favorites. But kings have a lot of free time on their hands. The famous adventurers must, must the famous adventurer must have written all of these during his his exploits. That's the word I was looking for. Portrait of the artist as a young hero by the famous adventurer. Hmm, I don't understand. This book was written decades before I was even born. The famous adventurer would have been a child. Plaque says, dedicated to the famous adventurer, head and shoulders above the rest. It also says, donated by the marvel marvelous Sir Amick. I'm not sure who he was, but I should mind my own bisqueness. You're gonna knock over this. It's so tempting, but no matter how accidental I make it seem, I'm sure Turk would crack my head open for something like that. Oh, that was a creature from Hero's Quest. This is. It, it says that this is Rakish Satana, Hero Africana. I'd be lying if I said he wasn't impressive. Stale the statue. I think that's that typo. And it should be steal the statue. It's already quite stale enough. I could break my teeth on it. Oh, nope, that was intentional. <laughs> Examine the relief. It's a very intricate relief of a shield flanked by two knights. The words keep it keep life true are etched into the shield. Something feels odd about it, but I can't quite place it. The relief is heavy, it doesn't move. It looks like one of those stupid puzzles that you like playing, kind of. Mm. Just trying to figure out what he was saying seemed odd about it. I mean, the knights are dressed slightly differently from each other, but that's about it. That I can tell, at least. Anywho, there's another pupper statue. Statue of Voodoo. Voodoo. The inscription reads, Voodoo the Black Lab, most loyal and devoted friend and hero, alerted the castle to an approaching attack by unholy creatures. No hero could be more beloved. 
A wonderful story and probably a marvelous dog. Whoever said that animals don't have souls should be flayed to death. <laughs> Dang, that was... That was an escalation if I've ever heard any. According to the plaque, this is Big D, a nobleman who sponsored the, this entire wing of the castle. I guess that was back in the days of the Illuminari. It says he lived here along with his wife, Kathleen, who was a wizard, and their devoted dog, Voodoo. Voodoo, I know him. That's his statue over there. How faithful can a doggy be? And that's Kathleen the wizard, Big D's wife, over there on the other side. The pieces all fall into place. I want... Was mm. this a Kickstarter? Yeah. I wonder if like some of these are the people that like donated like the higher tier stuff. Someone ca carved the words Perlusum Tenebras Frangimus into the par marble of this fireplace mantle. It looks really old, probably when they first built this place. It would take a major wrecking crew to remove this mantle piece. I'm pretty sure that the headmaster would not approve such things. There are some carved knight designs flanking the fireplace that are just decoration, but the mantle is interesting. The mantle's carving says Perlutium, blah blah blah. Yes. It's engraved Kathleen the Wizard who saved the castle from the Black Litigator. Mm. So Kathleen the Wizard and Big D in the portrait are married and Voodoo's her dog. I think I have it all straight now. It's like the whole family's here. These are items from the ancient My Mycenaean civilization that ruled over Sardonia eons ago. These are the famous adventurer's items. I'm surprised they haven't been gilded. Mm. Change? Anybody got some change? Ooch! Who left the hat pin in there? I hope you kept it. Hat pins are useful. You can do some damage with a hat pin. Nope. There's nothing in here except for famous adventurer brand and souvenir ma merchandise, keychains, snow globes, bookmarks, and that kind of thing. I don't need any of it. That's an odd. I smell bread. Where it come from? That's a very, very bad sign. None of these flowers would make a suitable present for anyone. They're already past their give by date. Black says that these are some items from the castle's past. A stone from the Chaos Gate, pearls from the Gog Temple, and a death mask of an ancient king, and a medal of honor for someone named Rufus Red McMurtry. Hmm. What? Um, Something out of Star Wars? Black says this is Saurus, the unsung savior of Shapier. I thought the Saurus was a kind of dictionary. Yeah. Womp womp. Shall we go to the rec room? Yeah, which way? Go straight. The courtyard, and then the rec room should be off the courtyard. Uh, let's try this side this time. Right here. Yeah! You like the music? No, I was just excited that I oh. figured it out. That's my happy dance. My family has estates in the cities of Palermo Ber and Catania. We are in the ranks of succession for the throne of Sicilia should anything happen to the prince's family. What does that mean? It means, my dear Kitty, that I may one day be the prince of Sicilia. Impressive. Hi, Lady Courtney. Looks like a queen seated on her throne in a garden. She seems like such a lovely, friendly sort of person. Behind the painting is an amazing garden. Oh wait, that's actually in the painting. It's so realistic, I almost tried to pick one of the flowers. The, 
The title says Sir Keegan defeating the dreaded Antwerp. Oh my gosh, the Antwerp. It was one of the first enemies you came across in Hero's Quest. Uh huh. Only it was like much larger. Uh huh. And it would just bounce around mm -hmm. and on top of you and squish you. No, no. So what's an Antwerp? Those critters around him seem alive and bouncy. Sigh, so many paintings, so mm. few safes. These shelves seem to be mostly for the use of the card players. I'm guessing some of the faculty like to play too, or the school wouldn't be catering to players like this. There's a box of cards and poker chips and a jug of cold spring water. This is awfully luxurious. I'm beginning to think the house must mm. take a cut. There's a billiards table. Been snookered at billiards more times than I care to count. Ooh, that just looks like a cozy place to read a book. Mm -hmm. I think I know this one. Hey diddle diddle, the cat on fiddle, while the bard stole all of the loot. Mm -hmm. I never cared much for fiddle music. Sometimes it's like the screeching of a... There's obviously a great deal going on behind this painting. What's the re what is the relationship of the two bards? Are they sad or merely focused? Is the lute properly tuned? Like the screech of a cat. It's got... <laughs> it's the... yeah. All kinds of games and prefer paraphernalia in here. Some of them look ancient. Uh... Drafts board and pieces. You know what they say about drafts. A minute to learn and a lifetime to finish a game. At least it feels that way. Drafts and knots. This plaque is labeled the Brave Knight Sir Ordu and their trusty steed. <laughs> so is Sir Ordu the little red dot, dot thing then? The plaque also says Sir Ordu was allegedly the first quirk to slay a dragon in single combat. Sir Ordu was also alleged to cheat at cards, though. Mm. So who are you going to believe? Sounds to me like Sir Ordu was more of a rogue than a paladin. Nope, nothing special behind this painting. Why aren't there more concealed safes around here? This is a painting- it is a painting of a distinguished young woman holding a snake and petting a cat. It's just weird. I'm not sure what, that's a good idea. If someone's an expert in juridic technomagery, whatever that is, who knows what could happen. Elsa von Spielberg, savior of Spielberg and Samaria. My heart flutters a little when I say her name. I mean a hero for the ages with the soul of a brigand. She looks like a viking. I dig her style. <laughs> it's Pretty a... sure she was in Hero's Quest. Sherlock Pupper here? This portrait is labeled Ivan the Terrier. Huh. This this says that Ivan was the first doggy detective of Highland Yard. Though his dogged determination and nose for clues, he always got his man. Good thing he isn't here in Sardonia. No thief could elude to this clever canine. No bones about it, there's no stole doggery hidden here. These books are all great for browsing through when you've got a few idle minutes. Here's one. The Way Things Work, Volume 6, Modern <laughs> Torture Devices by Duncan De Witches. I do not- I do want to finish this one someday, but every time I read it, I end up with a thousand right. paper cuts. Ah, uh, Mr. O'Connor, have you come to play a few games with us? I see that you are finding your way around the school. It is not exciting to realize that we are now living in a castle. One would think- almost think that we were royal. Do you hang out here often? I am here most evenings, as are many of our classmates. Did royalty once live in this castle? I do not think so. The castle was built by a group of knights who came here to save Sardonia from some unspeakable horror, or so the rumors say. Before the school opened, the local thieves guild avoided this place. Thieves who entered here seldom returned to speak of their mishaps here. 
I was of course intrigued at the possibility that there is something of great value hidden here in the castle. It was one of the reasons I enrolled, enrolled at in the Hero University. You mean to say that you didn't come here to learn how to be a hero? Eh, I will let someone else play the hero's part and let him waste his life saving fools from their follies. As for myself, I'd rather teach fools not to be so foolish as to tempt thieves and swindlers with their wealth. So what games can I play here? In the corner behind me, you can waste some time playing darts. If you like a little more challenge, you can test your skill at skills at billiards. Of course, you can always play a game of cards. What sort of card games are played here? One can always play solitaire. You can occasionally get people to play cribbage, but I don't peg you as a cribbage yeah. player. You'd likely get bored. Of course, the best ca card game of all is Pooba. What's Pooba? Pooba is a game we disbarred bards play just after exams. It's a way to relax with a little friendly competition. We wager a few coins on the cards, just add a little frisson to the match. I'll let you know the next time we play Pooba. We would love to play with you. I'll talk to you later. I'll be looking forward to it. I'm done. If you want to fit in here at Hero University, you will need to accept one fact. I am the leader of the disbarred bards class. Who put you in charge? I am a very dangerous person to cross, O'Connor. Do as I say and you'll benefit from our association. Defy me and I'll make your life unpleasant. Most unpleasant. Oh, so we'll get along fine as long as you get everything you want. What's the matter, so see not enough servants around here to do your bidding? Learn your place, peasant. Or what? You're going to send me off to bed with all my supper? Throw me in your dungeon? Not invite me to your birthday party? Sorry, Sosie, I don't give in to empty threats. You're mistaken, Connor. I will make you sorry you ever came here. I don't know about that, Sosie. I think this makes coming here even more interesting. Mm. <laughs> so sorry, Sosie did not like that. I'm not surprised. So what is your opinion about the disbarred bards class? This, the class standard was lowered to a minty O'Connor, clearly. Turk is correct, you don't belong in this school. So what brings you to the recreation room? I mean, besides the chance to bully and load it, lord it o over other students. You know, his face, he's gonna get so many wrinkles from mm. making that face all the time. I am an expert at billiards and cards, O'Connor. It will give me great satisfaction to crush you in such games. Get used to disappointment, Cesari. It's been a pleasure to make your acquaintance, Cesari. I look forward to more interactions with you tomorrow. Talk to Esme. If that brings you to Hero Hugh, you do not seem like hero type. Why did you come to the school? And are you here to be, here to be hero? I do not know if I will be hero or not. My parents thought that this would be good for me. It's a very different life here. What's different about it? My home is caravan and we travel all the time. It's strange to be surrounded by walls rather than woods. It's great. It's strange to be with strangers rather than with family. It's all strange and new for me. It's like adventure. You don't think I'm the hero type? I think you're like cat. Whatever happens, you will land on your feet. You will walk on your your own path. But to like cat, you do things for you, not for others. What brings you here to the rec room? Do you like to play games? I play many games. Mostly though, I come here to talk and have fun. And I like sitting around campfire at night with my pack and family. No. Pack? Are you a werewolf? I hope to talk a little more with you later. Maybe we will. So where did you come from before a Turk dragged you into our class? So what did you do to school? You don't seem to be a wannabe hero like me. I'm not a bit- I'm not big on the whole hero concept, no. You don't exactly look like the knight in shining armor type, either. No, but I might go out of my way to save a damsel in distress. Well, don't look at me. I'll save myself soon. No, thank you. I'm fresh off the streets of Caligari. My family owns an inn and tavern in East Caligari called Lady Luck. Have you ever been there? 
I didn't get to that part of the city much. Must be an interesting must be interesting owning it. and you get to meet a lot of people that way. Mostly it's just a lot of work. I usually too I was usually too busy to meet anyone. This is just a social group or do people actually play games here? Sometimes we play, sometimes we just talk. What's your favorite game? Challenge me to a game of darts sometimes sometime and I'll show you. I'll see you later. See you in class tomorrow. Okay, it is nine. It's the Gorum series guide to Poopa. The subtle so the subtitle is Strategy and Tactics to Winning, and here I thought games were supposed to be fun. It's too late to concentrate on a book in the rec room tonight. I don't want Turk to catch me napping over it. Alright, I think we're gonna head back to our quarters. We probably need to study and then go to bed. I would imagine. Oh, well, that is what I was going to say. No, okay. And then I was going to say that we will end the stream. Okay, that sounds like a good idea um, to me. Is this way? Yeah. yeah. To the Zorm. Oh, what do you think of the game so far? I like it. I do too. Lots of puns. Lots and lots of puns. Unbelievable amount of puns. <laughs> it's like every other sentence. Evening, Rumi. There's a letter someone left on your bed for you. Oh, it's a letter from our mom. Hey, this is a letter from my mama. How did she know I was here? <laughs> my dearling Sean, just so very happy I am to hear that you are at the Hero University. I can't tell you how proud it makes me feel to know that you have a chance at a bright future. Take care of yourself there at the school. Be sure to make some new friends. Don't forget to study hard so that you can get good grades and a good job when you graduate. Your dad would be so proud of you too. Your loving mother. So, Nora. Well, maybe I should at least try to take this school seriously. It would make Mama happy. Always make your Mama happy. That's like rule number one about Mamas. How's it going? I'm working on a song for my vocal performance class. Play us a tune, you're the panpipe guy. Play us <laughs> a tune this day. We are all very fond of your panpipe song and your music just blows us away. What do you think? It's like piano man. Oh, play us a song, you little panpipe guy. Play us a song today. Yep. It's amusing. Thanks. Now I have to work on the verses. So how did the letter get here? I guess the staff must have left it. It was there when I came in. I've never gotten mail from my family, so I don't know. Oh, poor guy. So how did you find out about the school? My father is a scribe for the Prince of Sardonia. He was in charge of writing the writ to permit a hero university to open here. When father saw the university had a school for bards, he thought it was a great idea to send me away to the far side of Sardonia and got me out of the house. <laughs> here I get to study under Maestro Lorenzo, learn music, play instruments, make friends. It's great. So what about you? What brought you here? Let's just say someone made me an offer that I couldn't refuse. <laughs> He's not gonna like this. Be played. It'd be nice if you could clean up the piles of junk in this room so that I can move around without tripping over things. But if I put everything away, I'd never find anything. It's like your argument. <laughs> Tea in the morning. I'll be sure to advise you to rise and wine come time to get up for stuff. <laughs> get past your class or you sleep too deep. Should right. we study real quick? Yeah, we should study real quick. I wonder if uh, that was why we were sleeping in class this morning. Because we stayed up too late. Yeah. yeah, probably. But if we go to bed by like actually 10, because he only takes about an hour to study. Yep. It's yeah, it's just 10:30 now, so that's fine. Let's go to bed. Go to sleep. Mm -hmm. In the future, we can take a short nap and then get up and roam. As I was saying, 
A rogue uses a variety of different methods and techniques in his actions. This classic skill common to both rogues and thieves is stealth. Like the common thief who considers that stealth means to tiptoe around everywhere hunched over like a gargoyle, rogues learn a message of sneaking that relies more upon his intelligence and perception than upon his agility. This is called the way of the Kuchenshab. Hey. Did you find something amusing in what I said? Erkent, Sprechen Sie Germanisch? Ein bisschen Meister. I'm guessing that means a little. And perhaps you will explain the meaning to those in our class who do not share your superior education. What does the way of the Kuchenshab translate to in common? The way of the cockroach, sir. Indeed, the lowly cockroach is our model for stealth. He does not move slowly around the room, hoping that nothing notices his movement and squashes him. The cockroach first stops to look around and assess any potential danger. He listens for threats, he looks for shadows or places to conceal himself. Only then does he scuttle to his next hiding place. But this lesson into practice. Whenever you have the need of stealth, first observe your environment, listen for potential danger. When appropriate, move directly to a place of concealment. Any questions? Kuchin <laughs> Shab. Ask clever question. So the way of cockroach is really a cells bitch. I don't get it. I mean, I get sales bitch, but... Mm. We need oh. to stop, examine, listen, look, and sneak before we go by. There we go. Cells. Bitch. As a reasonable interpretation, yes. Oh! Two people liked it! Their teacher and another guy in class. And, and you smart. got smarter! And you got stealthier! Sweet. The of the Kutin Shab might one day save your life. Pause and observe before you react. Into Lassen. Alright. Okay, save here. <laughs> Well, thank you for joining us today, Yeah, folks. let's delete these other saves. Well, what, do we want to keep them? I mean, we can keep the very first one if you want, in case you want to go back to, like, anything, but... Okay. Anything yeah! Anything else before I... I just thought you might want to make some room. Yeah. That's all. Thank you for joining us tonight. Yes, thank you for joining us. Um, we we really appreciate you being here for our first stream of Hear You, and we are definitely looking forward to getting a little more into this, um, since it's it's full of puns and references to other um, adventure games, which is fun, right? Um, let's see. Um, if you are new and you do not know who we are, he's Eats. I am Evie, and we are a husband and wife who love playing video games together, and we um, are currently working through a lot of um, our favorite adventure games and some that we haven't tried before, and here he is one of the ones we haven't tried before. So we're checking it out, and it seems pretty good so far. Um, but uh, if you are new and... Um, would love to follow us. We really would really appreciate you giving us a follow. It'll also allow you to um, be notified when we stream, when we go live. Um, so that's an even bit better bonus for you know more more adventures in Hero You. Also, we have a Twitter and a YouTube page that are linked below our in our channel description thingy. Um, the Twitter, we update every day um, that we would normally stream. Uh, we stream every day except for Thursdays. Um, uh, but we will update if we're running later than usual. We always update when we start our stream, and we um, will update if uh, we happen to not be streaming on a night we normally would stream. So check Twitter there for information about streams and what's going on. Also our YouTube, we upload all of our old streams to there. Um, we did make a folder for all of our Space Quest adventures, which is set up in chronological order by this lovely fellow over here. Um, so if you uh, want to go back and watch any of our Space Quest streams, then you can do that on YouTube right now. Um, and we will be adding all of these Hero U ones to there as well as we go. Um, so that's everything. Um, 
once again, we really appreciate you joining us, um, and we hope that you will join us again Friday, because tomorrow's Thursday, Friday night, um, and uh, we will be picking up right here where we left off um, for some more Here Are You. Yar. Have a great evening, folks. Thank you again. Good night. Bye.